Okay. Looks to be like the stream is starting, so that's good. Just gonna rearrange the mics here. Make sure they're pointing directly at my big fat mouth so you can hear me talking. Yeah. Just put this out, then I'm live streaming really quick. Good luck. Okay. Hey Sam, what's up, man? Yeah. I'm doing the math. 64 bits. How <laughs> you doing, Sam? So I figured since it's uh hey DJ Hurlo, what's up, man? So I figured it's one of those uh, fun nights, we'll get the extra big beer. guys doing? Mm. I thought about making a drinking game, but every time I'd hear where, where do you belong to fly when we be a cybermorph, I'm like, oh, I'd be dead. <laughs> I'd be so dead. Hey, how's it going, Zero Mancer? How you doing, man? Mm. Oh my god, this is great. I haven't had an Apocalypse IPA in a long time. That's really good. since last New Year's. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, man. Good luck. It's okay not to drink. That's totally fine. This is how I enjoy my weekends. Uh, I summon dead god in the name of tacos. I'm sure John Rogers will be here as well. Hey, Gabber, what's up, man? How you doing? Getting this started. Looks like I can get anybody else in here. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm not sure I can top last night's stream. That was hilarious by the end of that. Just holy crap, Jimmy was just on fire. Got the gigantic uh, favorite Atari controller. What I find it so odd is for as large as it is, it actually is surprisingly light. Like, it doesn't feel like there's a lot in here. John Rogers, no, wait, crap. John Rogers, show yourself. <laughs> Having an alcohol in like three seconds. <laughs> yeah, last night was good. So I'm just enjoying watching this thing. There's so many odd choices in the Jaguar. But I think it's kind of unfair with the uh, Atari, uh, or sorry, the uh, Angry Video Game Nerd. Hey Ian, have you ever heard of uh, Vidley? No, I have not, man. But, uh, what I thought was kind of unfair that AVGN didn't really point out was like, the reason why the Atari Jaguar had such an odd amalgamation of titles for a bit was because they just couldn't get any third party publishers to make stuff for it. Because Nintendo and those companies had such a death grip on the industry. And Atari, being known by the Tremels, really didn't have the same resources or even the same clout to get the developers they needed on board for the platform. The Dirty Game Room, how's it going, man? I love that channel, man. I feel like you've been here before, but I'm really curious here. One sec. I'm gonna check out this freaking uh, 
Oh. <laughs> Rex, what's up, man? How you doing? Sorry, it's terrible reputation at times. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. So Rex, what's really interesting is so the 7800 was kind of, at least when I was talking to Michael Katz, and that was basically what he used to revitalize the game division at Atari. So it was kind of impressive the way he played his cards with that system. Because he was like, you know what, I'm not going to pretend that it's a great platform. I'm going to use it as this budget platform that gives people access to newer titles and the old 2600 library. Which I thought was pretty smart on his, his part. Yeah, hold up. See, Ian, I understand the love of the CDI, but I just have not been convinced in terms of the Jaguar. I don't know. The Jaguar, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any revisionist history here and try and defend it in any particular capacity. I don't think it's as bad as it's made out to be. I think the Jaguar, unfortunately, just suffers from this realm of they needed product. So they just, whatever they could get their hands on, they would just push out the door as quickly as they could. It's because Atari, it's like one of those things, you know, the phrase, beggars can't be choosers. Picked up Total Carnage. Hell yeah, man, that's awesome. And it's all about like, the biggest, uh, got the biggest issue freaking Atari was suffering at this time was from else. Nobody trusted them. They were awful managers. That's just kind of happened. Midly is basically a website, it looks like how YouTube used to be back in the day. Oh, that's cool, man. Stick to the old IO chip. Oh, yeah, I can believe that. Well done. Well done. Yeah, Atari just they, they had nothing going for them. Their home line of computers is pretty much the thing they had to believe. The only thing they had going, and they kind of mismanaged that and moved around as well. Oh, man. Beer is really good, and I kind of want to get sick of chit chat. <laughs> see here, you have the Auto Autobahn, Codex, Ennis, Grismadre, Capital, Emath. That's kind of interesting about Midway. Here's that one. It shouldn't bother me as much as it does, but the uh, the entire Jaguar controller, instead of going uh, like A, B, C, it goes A, B, C going inward. I don't know why that bothers me. <laughs> if you ever, YouTube ever goes down the complete shithole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, uh, DJ, I've had a fun, a fun career making video content on the internet because when I first started, YouTube really wasn't a platform you could do much with. You had like your own website and then you use blip or like you would market yourself through like screw attack or retroware or um blip and so i i, I primarily i thought blip was going to be the thing that made it hey apple chip what's up man so i primarily put myself on blip and that was a huge mistake okay 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 let's see i was have to remember how to fly in this game so it's like where did i learn to fly it's like you never taught me how to fly Crazy green headed lady. You're fighting these weird crab monsters that shoot missiles out of their shells. It's plexing, is what it is. Oh, oh dear God. Where did you learn to fly? <laughs> oh. Every time I should drink, every time that happens, I might be dead. Every well, time for a Nice, man. That's cool, dude. And did you publish all of the content on YouTube? Uh, yeah. Pretty much everything I made on Blip, I moved back over to, uh, or, yeah, I moved over to YouTube. With the exception of one video I made... 
I want to say the Christmas of like 2011, 2010, where I talked about the... <laughs> I think I have the raw files on my old Mac somewhere out here in the garage. But I just, I didn't bother downloading it and moving it over, over from Blip. But it's a video about the uh, the evil Santa Claus, the Basque believe in. That was back before my channel had really, you know, pivoted to being mostly about gaming stuff. <laughs> I was doing random history things like I did, like, uh, the history of Black Friday, which did pretty well. I was pretty happy about that, but... Got like, I don't know, it was like, I don't know, it got like 20,000 views and blip and stuff and being embedded places. I was so happy with that performance. I was like, my god, that's amazing. 20,000 views. Well done. Because then it got featured on Screw Attack, it got featured on that guy with the glasses. Well, in their comment or their creator section back when that used to be a thing they did. Back when that guy with the glasses was a platform that you could actually, you know, do anything with. Now known as Channel Awesome. Okay, it's, oh, oh, it's okay, it's A, A is stop, B is okay. Well done. This game isn't as terrible as VGM made it out to be, it's just not a great, it's just not a good game, it's just kind of like, hey, here's an unfinished tech demo. Good. Ooh. Greatest console of all time. Let's see, your past three months all under a thousand views, huh? Yeah, Gabber, it's one of those things. I'm not sure what's up, but like, I was looking at my analytics. Oh, is the game audio stuttering or what? It's just too low. There's also like no. <laughs> hey, John. We'll work on that, man. Let me turn it up, because also, like, with the, there's really not a lot of background music in Cybermorphs. There's, like, no music or anything, so, yeah. Yeah, because, like, there's not a lot of sound. Oh, God. It's so been on YouTube since NSX, but I didn't watch a single video until... Huh. You just have a lot of sense, yeah. Not surprised. That's just kind of the way the world goes in terms of media. Appreciate the donation, and I will eventually one day set up stream labs. I just keep forgetting. <laughs> okay, I would like to. There we go. Have to fly exactly into it. <laughs> David, how's it going, man? Do you still use Blip? Now, Blip is uh, Blip long ago died, and the funny thing is, they died owing me money and never sent me <laughs> the money they owed me. So I'm like, you bastards. And the funny thing, I remember when Blip was going under, actually, I was like one of the few sort of like creators, even though I was like nobody that survived the purge. I was pretty happy with that. Because they were just cleaning house, trying to keep any any show that was remotely profitable for them. <laughs> remember the Vortex with the SNES? I think a 3D shooter on the Jaguar. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't make this. Be fair, I, I, be fair, I do like Iron Soldier on this platform. Oh, everything's fantastic, David. How you doing, man? Fly nice and slow, because you don't got you don't gotta go fast. Well, you just gotta get the pod, that's all that matters. Hey! Girl Jones, what's up, man? Oh, Kevin Ball, how you doing, man? Good 
work. Welcome to the party, pal. Like, look at how much cooler these ships are than mine. Like, those look way more interesting than this thing I'm in. I mean, the thing I, I'm in looks kind of like a school bus with big polygons on it. Well done. <laughs> I like this game, Fiber. No, I'm not saying poly like Cybermorph is a, a a terrible game. It's just not a. It's not like I would say a great game. You know, that makes sense. <laughs> My blip checks must be worth major money now. Oh man, uh, all all thirty two dollars they owe me if they put that into some account. <laughs> God, that'd be funny. Didn't know what to watch before bed. A few seconds later, the streams pop up. <laughs> fantastic. Please allow me to lull you into a nice, gentle sleep, and you have a fantastic evening. I've heard that Ethel chip. Unfortunately, like, freaking. I really wish I had bought a Jaguar CD Good back in the day work. before they became so ridiculously expensive. I'm not sure, like, what the number. I think it was like what ten thousand or something like that were were made. So it's not. There's not a lot of those things out there. Well done. <laughs> well, however, it distracted me enough to let my shoes get stolen in the mall. Good so, I mean, that worked out well. So, it was good enough in that regard. <laughs> Watching, uh... Talk to talk to sleep with a gentle Good voice while watching work. Jaguar Jaguar gameplay. Well a simple man of simple things. Oh god. Okay. Good work. Portal now open. Yeah. Well, it's not a bad game. It's just very clearly one of those games that was like a, a tech demo for the system. I mean, in 93, this thing wasn't really competing against any of the 3D systems. But to be fair, the uh, 3DO was on the horizon, and that system was pretty freaking amazing. But it was also like twice the cost. Drink more beer one sec. Catch up in the chat. <laughs> I can dream of doing math. Do the math. <laughs> Grill, are you a millennial? I believe Grill is a Gen Xer. You know, I've heard of junk, uh, my 7,000 class computer collection. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's kids to do the math. Oh, yeah, Sam was a. Uh, Sam was summoning you with uh, Sam Fisher. Oh my god. Jimmy Hoppa, you need to jump on chat so I can chit chat with you. <laughs> hey, Colin, what's up, man? This looks much nicer than Star Fox. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> New times in Sunnyville. That's fantastic. But Jimmy, please. <gasps> now jump on while you're kicking spaghetti. I want to hear that. Want to hear that going on in the background? Okay, why is it? Okay, it's directing me to the portal. But I need to get. I put this building. Parts in these buildings. No, they'll kill me, I guess. I crash into them. So there's some stuff in there. What's this? <laughs> I 
Let's <laughs> form in if he draws him to the White House. Uh, uh, that was funny. I was hanging out with my mother today. We were just talking about how she was born under Truman. Good times. Thank you doing a stream tomorrow from PSVR. I'm a nice man. God, you know what I would do? Like, if I had the programming intuition to make something on the Jaguar, I think a three-dimensional polygraphic, like, shmup-type title would be just fantastic on this system. Like, have an on-rails 3D environment shmup option. I think the controller would lend itself to that rather nicely. Now, where the heck is the... That's just leave the game map. You can stream that Air Force recruiting game. <laughs> or, uh, Sil Feed 64. Oh, that'd be cool. Man, that'd be fun stuff. <laughs> you proved yourself not a millennium. <laughs> Love a gorilla. How you doing, man? Okay. Uh, let's go back to Codex. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the Jaguar had, uh, I mean, it had more than just shit tools, I think was, like, the primary issue. Well, it had the Tremels, who really weren't well-liked. It had, basically, Sega and freaking Nintendo just had a stranglehold over most third-party developers. Well they already had the majority of the install base. And the Tremels just didn't have the same type of good relationships that those other companies had with developers. People didn't really want to risk with going to do anything with them. Well and then there's also stuff where, like, the Tremels really didn't want to loan out, um, like, PR kits of the, of the Atari Jaguar. And so, basically, like, they would send an Atari Jaguar out to a magazine or something like that, let them test it. Then they would demand it back, and that would piss off the magazine, who would then just do, basically, hit pieces on them. Because remember, like, the Atari port of Doom isn't that bad. It's actually pretty decent. It's probably one of the better console ports out there. It just doesn't have music. And, uh... And, like, the magazines were doing hits on it, like, the entire time. Just because they demanded the console back. Which, like, I mean, Atari wasn't a big company back then, so I could understand them making that, uh, making that demand. Uh, in the end, it was worth to sell a 16-bit console for a Jaguar. Oh, yeah. Let's say it's worth it. <laughs> In the end, it wasn't worth it. Eh, it's one of those things where, uh... Oh, I'm doing a fantastic reel. I mean, it's hard to keep up the chat and talk. <laughs> but I have my giant beer, and then I have another IPA in the fridge inside. So I think it should be pretty good tonight. Timeline where the dark... Ja Timeline where the jack walk. The best system. Yeah, I think. Well done. I mean, it's all—it's all about. It's all about timing. I mean, there's always that one—that one timeline where it's possible. I mean, like, if you think about it, the uh, the Famicom you would not have expected that thing to do as well as it did, but it flew off the shelves like freaking Good gangbusters work. in Japan, and it used the same relative uh, relative stuff to almost the Atari 2600 in terms of like processor. That's pretty impressive. Family CR Gaming. How's it going, man? I do have Alien vs. Predator. Oh, thanks, man. Enjoy the, uh... Glad you like the channel. The Travels, unfortunately, didn't have the pull. EGM, yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> we almost came to blows. Ah, Gorilla, man. That's awesome. Hey, Seven Beatles, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, I do have uh, Animal vs. Predator. I prefer to play it once I get rather inebriated, so that way the game gets incredibly difficult to navigate. That's just the way I like to play it. <laughs> Probably hit up uh, Iron Soldier before that. That's one of my favorites. 
Drink more, drink more. Your name is Jimmy Howe. Good luck. <laughs> Sir, I'll have you know that I truly enjoy drinking with Jimmy Howe. I've drank with him in person, and he's a fantastic gentleman. I really think, like, uh, based on the conversation I had with Michael Katz, like, if that guy had gone back to Atari and was given full charge of the game division and actually had the power he needed to make a difference or make actual, like, money choices about where this money went for the company, I really think he could have turned Atari's gaming division around and made it a pretty aggressive force. I mean, he had, like, pretty much a lot of the ideas he had that made Kalinske so successful, he kind of pioneered, and Kalinske kind of expanded on it. Good work. Ugh. Not to say Kalinsky wasn't a boss in his own right, but you know, Michael, Michael Katz, though, that guy does not get the credit he deserves. Well done. Pod in trouble. That was being very loud in their driveway. Yeah. Well done. Let's see here. Is there any reason why Nintendo floppy disk? Wait, what? Why Nintendo dropped the floppy disk? Um, unreliable, and they were too easy to pirate, I'd imagine. Now, I think they were pretty big in Japan, but ultimately they just never pushed into the United States, which is... The United States is one of the biggest markets out there, and if a product doesn't take off here, or they don't push it here and it doesn't become successful, there's really no point in expanding that, and I'm pretty sure the profits they were getting off of uh, the disk drives in Japan just weren't enough. Because I think ultimately, I think it was kind of a reactionary measure to the RAM trip shortage of 88, because it was getting so expensive. Sam was too busy buying Ferraris. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, Gorilla Jones, I used to do title fraud investigation, and I had a, a 250 GT title came over my desk. And the guy, the guy had bought it for $4 million, and it flagged and went and just ended up on my desk just because I'm like, that's a really big number for some car, <laughs> especially in Idaho. And so I had to look into it, and I had to find out who the guy was. I'm like, oh, he's from Google. <laughs> it's just some Google employee that moved to Idaho. But yeah, it was something like he bought it, and I think his payments were like $29,000 a month or something like that. It was ridiculous. Insane. Hey, Tex, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, yeah. Thankfully, I wasn't uh, wasn't too hungover today. I know Yahel, or Yahel, unfortunately, was just wrecked. He was not feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> I want that car for free. <laughs> An appointment where the other nine remaining pods are. Four million dollar car. Yeah, it's like, and the funny thing was, like, a 250 GT is not even that pretty of a Ferrari, in my opinion. It's like very, uh, very 60s and Bondish looking. I'm sure every inch of that car is handmade in some way. But I just, I don't know. I'm just a very, I'm like, I am not impressed. I have to have visual. I'm, I'm impressed by the number, sure. <laughs> That's half the price of Trinidad. Oh, you can, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you, hey, with the question, you, you want this uh, 250 Ferrari GT, $4 million out the door, or the entire island nation of Trinidad? Up to you. Good work. Cyber truck is a beautiful car. <laughs> Stay away from my pot. Well done.
Tis a good night. Some old school gaming chat, playing some DOD. Oh, nice, man. Dr. Pepper. Oh, it's, yeah, this is a good car. But, uh, you know, still not impressed with Ferrari, so sick. Let's see, what's your opinion? In retrospect, should, uh, should have the JGR launch with the CD like the 3DO? That's a really good question, but I feel like the, uh... That's a hard question to actually t discuss. I don't know, CD technology at that point in time was just way too expensive. At least for a company like, uh, like a company like Atari to manufacture on their own. That's just my thought, because like, Melton, like, the 3DO was one of the first CD-based system, at least in terms of, uh, this generation of consoles. And those things were going for, like, $700 a pop. And the only reason why that even they even were being sold basically was because Trip Hawkins managed to uh, convince Panasonic and a couple other companies to manufacture them on a model of making money off the console, which in the gaming industry historically never really worked out too well, with, with, the, with the exception of Nintendo being the one exception to that. I don't know, know Gabber. Let's see, the Jaguar has more exclusives than... <laughs> yeah, I don't really think there's any, uh, I know the, the, the Jaguar has the benefit of having a pretty big homebrew community now. That was because, like, pretty much once, uh, once Hasbro bought Atari, they just dumped the rights to the Jaguar because they just didn't care anymore. So pretty much everything about the Jaguar became relatively open source. So it was just a really welcome change for that and kind of reinvigorated the Jaguar community and had a deep love for it. A lot of those guys are British. Like they have an immensely deep love for the Jaguar. World's first open world black and white, <laughs> black ice white. Red glass. How you doing, man? Panasonic Gold Star Sanyo. Thank you. And, uh, I'm pretty sure Gold Star, they joined with some other company, right? And became, uh, LG. Live good. I have a Panasonic Model 2, Model 1, and a Gold Star. But I still like my Gold Star. Cameron, how you been, man? I've seen you in forever. How does the Jaguar feel? Uh, you know, honestly, pretty good. It's actually, re it's, for my giant hands, it's really comfortable. The button range one's pretty decent. These are kind of awkward to use down here, but what I find really odd about the Jaguar controller is how light it feels for the size, which is kind of odd. But it doesn't feel chintzy, though. It's still pretty solid. So I really have no complaints about it for the most part. Ah, lucky like gold star. Okay, that's what it was. Thank you, Rex. You are a never-ending reservoir of knowledge. Yeah, the 6800 was one of those things. I think uh, Yahel did a pretty in-depth research video about it. I think my, my Atari Jaguar video wasn't very... I don't know. I was having more fun just discussing the philosophy and ideas of the time as to how the Jaguar wasn't really... Their primary enemy wasn't the 3DO. It wasn't the, wasn't the PlayStation. It was just too much of a precursor. Its en enemies were the Genesis and the uh, SNES. So they didn't really see it as a, uh, a threat. Well, not a threat, but they didn't really... They didn't really, they weren't forward thinking in terms of how they would fight the fight. Sorry, I'm buzzing a little bit. I have my beer. <laughs> Wish someone would release a Jaguar Mini Classic. Oh, that'd be neat if Hasbro uh, freaking released a Jaguar Mini. A AVP and all of that. I guess I just don't see, I mean, the Jaguar didn't really sell that many units in its lifespan. So I, I can't see it being a very... One of those things where I think it would be a financial risk for the company, unfortunately, just because a lot of people don't know about the Jaguar. Oh god, they're on my tail. Ugh. Oh, apparently my ship can just crush them with the bus. I can help you, but that's not a thing I can do. Remember this map giving me the problems the most? I have no idea. Oh, 
in a pink crystal drop or something with right there just said. <laughs> Jaguar CD seemed on point. Yo, the Jaguar CD, it was never really, like, they didn't, it wasn't ready for mass production. It was one of those things, like, they had built 10,000, like, test units in some respects, and then dumped those on, on the market. So there wasn't really a lot they, they didn't, uh, there was a lot of problems with that, the CD attachment they hadn't addressed, like, namely, like, connection to the system, physical wear on the units, and it was, like, such a small run of them, too, relatively to, like, the game industry, though. Oh, good for good for a Conrad Drager that he's making a comeback. Most video games ported to PlayStation One. Same Jaguar. Never replaced with this one. Though. Mm. Oh yeah, thanks, Yammer. Oh crap, it really? It's not on my, uh, I'll have to add that. Thank you, uh, Gabber. <laughs> uh, so what other ones I have, I have Bruce Lee, Way of the Warrior, I got Alien vs. Predator, Iron Soldier, and Syndicate. So my Jaguar collection is not that large, unfortunately. Awesome. Boy, I didn't add Syndicate? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Thought I'd added this, Gabber. Hmm. I need to go through my list and fix that. Yeah, I thought it was so tiny. <laughs> oh man, those were the days. Freaking getting uh, freaking thirty-two axes in those back in the day. I remember I got got I got a thirty-two x in box, twenty-five dollars. Freaking everything in there. I never looked to see if it had the arm shields though. But yeah. So the new television, maybe. Alpha Mega Sin left YouTube. I just remember him not doing anything with his channel for like the last year and a half though. Good luck. Remember, he used to be subscribed to me for a minute. Felt pretty cool about that. Uh, let's see, anyone got the St. Jag flash card? Oh, yeah, I heard they're working on that. Okay. But a little more cyber morph here. Absolute Horror Street sold you on 32X. Uh, God, that's a great freaking stupid infomercial. Zool's at four bodies, too. Oh, in San Fornia. Were, uh, were any of those close to market? Are they any of those out yet? Sale on Stone Age Gamers. Oh, nice. Let's see, yeah, that'll be nice. Like I, I, 
I would love to collect more stuff for the Jag, Page but it's just so freaking expensive of a console to do that stuff for. And just a lot of the games I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a huge fan of. Like, I paid, I think I want to pay like, I paid like $75 for my copy of AVP. And I'm not a huge fan of it, so I'm like, ah, I kind of regret that. <laughs> but I got a mint in box, though. Whoa. God, what are those sky bats? What are those? <laughs> kind of fun that they're doing polygons, though. <laughs> Kid Shag flashcard, yeah. That's my plan. That'd be, that'd be fun. I know there's... Okay, what's his name? Uh, Eeyore or something. He, uh... He's a... Ooh, that'll be pretty. Yeah, we'll definitely be playing that at some point. This evening. Um, what was the guy's name? I met him at uh, Portland Electric the Expo, and he's been working on some pretty impressive stuff for the Jaguar. In terms of, like, getting, like, the absolute most power out of its 3D poly polyagonal abilities. Looks great. <laughs> Club drive. Don't you feel now? So far, Iron Soldier is my favorite, because I've played a handful of them. David, how's it going? Doing so much ah, I was too busy reading the chat like a dummy. Yeah, my current setup, I have my monitor too far to the right in comparison to my main game screen, so I can't really look over and read as easily. But where did the other pods go? There's three of them. Do this. Wait, what? Does this world perpetually loop? Is that what's going on here? Oh, that's the worst. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm going to drink some more. We'll deal with this problem. Let's see. Can the 32X be compared? Uh... Yeah. No, the 32X sits in a category all its own. It was like this nice stop, stop gap where it kind of bridged both worlds in some respects because ultimately a lot of 3D stuff hadn't been be, hadn't been done too dramatically. I mean, they had the SVP and the, and the uh, chip on the uh, Super Nintendo. But they weren't... Uh, like Really, those companies hadn't done much beyond that. That's of the arcade. But so... Where am I going with this? Sorry, I'm trying to fly this plane and make a construct an argument here. But uh, I feel like the 32X had it been properly supported, and they pushed the uh, the system to its true potential because it had Hitachi SH2s in it, so it had it had some pretty decent power in it, and it had dramatically more polygon generation abilities than the SVP, which was a fantastic chip for for stuff stuff on a base Genesis, and way more powerful than the focus uh, on. Oh God. For some reason I'm drawing a blank on the name of the uh, SNES variant, or their 3D action chip. No idea why right now, I think I'm having a stroke. It's probably the 3D polygons getting me. Little jig back in the day. Clover apartment store. Nice, man. Hmm. Yeah, AVP at the time, I think, looked pretty good, because it was a had that Doom style to it. It had the good-looking 2D sprite rotation stuff going on. So it looked great. FX chip, thank you. Oh my god, I was losing my mind. I could see the box art in my mind. For some reason, I couldn't read it. <laughs> thank you. The fax chip. Ugh. Just losing my mind there. Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> Okay, there's three pods somewhere around here. This is driving me nuts. Sega should randomly start making 32X games again. Oh my god, I would love that. I would pay $150 a game for brand new 32X games released from Sega. Oh, that'd be great. Hell yeah, Gabber.
Then Drive Club. Ah, uh, man, I wish I had Drive Club. I don't have that one. I don't have enough freaking Atari or Jaguar games. I only have five. I need to find more. They're just so hard to find in the wild these days. <laughs> like where I found I found this controller at a thrift store. And I'm like, do you have the thing this plugs into? Please. I'm like looking at it if they had it or not. Ah, uh, that plain green sky. <laughs> I didn't even try. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be an alien world. I mean, so maybe they're being creative. And they're like, Vo volumetric fog. You just can't see that far. Okay, let's switch worlds, because apparently I can't find three pods. That's... What... Oh! My god, it's... You gotta go through the portal to get to the part where the pods are. Okay, that's mildly frustrating. Thunder in Paradise for 32x CD. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Yeah, it would have had texture, because it could run all... And you, have the boost, you can boost the power with the... Uh... Jenison there as well. Indigo, what's up, man? How you doing? Really? You guys have plenty of freaking uh, retro games? Yeah, Idaho is one of those places that didn't seem to get the Jaguar too much. Wait. What the hell? Okay, so the blue portal just throws me away. That's real annoying. Now, because these are green squares, are we supposed to be friendlies, or...? Well done. I'm sure she's saying something, but I can't hear her because I don't have it in my ear properly. Whoa, David, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, thank you, man. I appreciate the donation. <laughs> so this, this game or Superman 64? Uh, I will never forgive Superman 64 for the horrible weekend I had with that game. Like, I remember a buddy of mine, we uh, we rented it. We're like, oh, it's so cool, because he'd gotten his uh, Nintendo 64, so we were hanging out at his house for the weekend. And we paid, like, an extra, like, $3 or something to have the thing for the entire weekend, because we were going to sleep over and hanging out. To fly? And, uh, and for whatever reason, we, God, we had the hardest freaking time getting past the damn... Uh, <laughs> the damn part where you, you fly through the rings, and then you have to, like, throw the car... But there's, like, no time to learn how to throw a car before the game forces you to do it. So it was just painful well, us trying to do that for, like, a weekend straight and just suffering immensely because of it. Just one of those real, you know, you're going to have a bad time. It's like you're uh, you're twelve you're twelve years old. You got you got Superman sixty four and N sixty four. A weekend all to yourself. We you don't have to go anywhere. Hanging out with your best friend, and you both make the subtle mistake to rent Superman sixty four. Thankfully, I had Goldeneye, so that we salvaged the weekend a bit by doing tournaments of that with other kids in the neighborhood. So that was cool. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty pretty bad. Uh, see, the best part of the Jag is the infom- Oh, God. The freaking Jaguar infomercials are fantastic. You have that weird one where it's like them doing extreme motor jumps in the middle of nowhere. Then you have the one where it's the hour-long commercial of uh, the dude sucked into his TV and dealing with the uh, the cat woman slash the one guy who's just constantly yelling at him. E Games was only only place that sold Jaguar. Oh, nice. <laughs> you sure and hat. Oh, so you need a hat? Okay. I made a... For a Patreon tier, I made a custom, like, Genesis card that I send out with custom box art. I set that up. But I know some... I think it was you or some other folks were talking to me about wanting... Wanting t-shirts of some type. So that's something I'll have to work on in the future. Design something fun for you guys. Okay, we got... Oh, oh, I didn't leave. I had one more pod to find. Uh, won't, won't. 
Video Servant 64 is bad, and you should uh, watch the SIGW video on Batman game of the next year. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, is that the one where you're, like, on the rooftops and, like, falling off and almost dying? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Man, freaking tag. That's so lucky. But anyway, I grew up in a small town where, like, the biggest the biggest department store we had was in Montgomery Wards. It was where I grew up in California. 17 pods. 27 pods. My God. Let's do EMAP. Good luck. Yeah, growing up, I don't recall anyone I knew had a 32X. Like, I knew of the 32X, the Sega CD, I had a base Genesis. But, like, I don't know, we were lucky to have that, because my, my brothers and I were... They, we fought really bad, so we just beat the crap out of each other in terms of <laughs> whoever got to play the console. So my mother was reluctant to buy us more game consoles, because of how badly we fought each other to play it. Or even attachments for said current game console, but yeah. I don't know if any of you ever had that experience. Because well I remember, like, one of my brother, like, my middle brother, well he absolutely done. loved playing Madden, and I didn't. I like playing platformers, action games, stuff like that. And so I just, I would turn off the console when he was playing Madden, and then it would just result in an immediate fist fight <laughs> between us when we tried to play it. But good times. But we could agree on playing RBI baseball, because I like that one. It was a fun one to play back in the day. Well done. Dang blasted missiles out of your stupid shell. Hurt. Ouch. Good work. Ooh. Oh, I was. I think it was the worst dialogue in any Batman game. Bottles to water, terrible characters. Oh, jeez. Three people with uh, at the 3DO. I'm trying to remember who I, I knew someone who had a 3DO. But they also had a Saturn. I'm trying to remember who it was. Around, yeah. yeah, I never knew anybody who had a, <clears throat> had a CDI growing up. But, uh. Man, I really like that console now, though. It's a good time. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and switch it out to Iron Soldier. One sec, guys. Enough said remorse here. Ah. So one thing I do love the freaking Atari boxes though. They look pretty good. And they have that whole like classic Atari look to them. But they do a pretty good job on these ones of not making it like the uh, the NEC Turbo Graphics boxes, which had that horrible, almost like early Atari faux nature to them. You got the uh Pretty cool overlay here. Which these are always, like, they're interesting, they're pretty neat, but like, I find it's almost like uh, I worry about breaking these things all the time. They're so finicky on these controllers. What I find what's always scary about the Atari Jaguar is it won't power on unless you have a game in the cartridge slot. So it's always like, you're like, uh-oh. And so you don't know if the console's turned on or not when you have the power on. So you're like, uh, so you slide the cartridge in and then you watch it power on. And I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna blow the fuse. <laughs> Space A's on 3DO in the malls, Joe. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Look at that great picture pan right there. That's just that's good stuff. Nineteen ninety. This game really come out that far in the development. Oh, never mind. This doesn't come out in ninety three. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. All right. 
Industrialization has run rampant. Most of the Earth's surface has been covered by factories and wastelands. The Iron Fist Corporation has used military force to take over national government and create a worldwide military dictatorship. The Iron Fist Corporation has recently developed a new weapon in use for urban areas. A 42 foot, fall, 42 foot tall piloted robot known as the Iron Soldier. With such a weapon, they will have no trouble controlling the populace. However, a new group has been formed to stop the Iron Fist Corporation. This group, known as the Resistance, has given advantage to capture an early production model of the Iron Soldier unit. This is where you come in. As a member of the Resistance, your job is to pilot the Iron Soldier in a one-man war against the Iron Fist. The fate of the world rests on your valor on your shoulders. Valor shoulders. The mech shoulders, not, not rockets. Credits. Sounds like that. Eh? <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah, like a lot of uh, Sega Master Systems eventually just had uh, preloaded games in them. You saw a, really a CDI in a rental store? That's fantastic. Was it, was it just doing like display stuff, or were they actually like trying to get you to rent like the system to rent games for it? <laughs> I had a lot of dust on it. Oh, that's great. What are the options in this game? A biker to <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's fun. That's God, that's fantastic. Uh, missile up, down, normal, difficulty, easy, hard, medium. Like, let's keep it easy because this game's a little challenging at times. Demo. What is that? Oh, it just plays the game for you if you do demo. Wait, what? I don't think I've ever seen this game look this good. Like, the demo looks great. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the... the weird physics effects there where you blow up a building. I'm gonna try that. Hey, Chris, how you doing, man? I haven't seen you in a while. The only system I ever saw for rent block... Really, a virtual boy? The only thing I remember the Virtual Boy is one of my friends got pink eye <laughs> from the uh, display model. Uh, Ninja Master, how you doing, man? And we're checking out the, uh, the display model of that thing in uh, software, etc. back in the day and being semi-impressed, but I'm like, eh, I don't really, I don't really get it. <laughs> I'm like, who's this for? Yeah. But I'll be right back. I'm going to grab another beer really quick because I almost finished my uh, giant one. So hang on one sec, guys. Let the uh, Iron Soldier credits entertain you while I be right back.
Okay. Uh, and we're back. Please allow my uh, interruption of the green screen to break your connection with reality here. Babbages. <laughs> what kind of CDI is this? <laughs> uh, pink eye from the floor model. That's. <laughs> yeah. I drew them like, oh god, why no? That's terrible. Why wouldn't they clean that ever? Oh, yes. Jimmy is full of nourishment, ready to join the chat and hang out. You're up here. Let's get these guys on. Bring up this over here. Evening. Why, hello there, sir. How you doing? I'm pretty good. How you feeling? You know, I don't really get hungover, so I'm good. That is awesome. You're very lucky. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. But you know what I did do? Since you're doing the Jaguar, I dug out my 1994 and 1998 EGM buyer's guides to oh. take a look at the reviews. So I figured if you don't mind, uh, uh, read this, share yeah, this with the yeah. chat. Um, the Jaguar got straight seven ratings from EGM. Uh, it edged out the laser active. The Philips CDI got the shittiest ratings, of course. Uh, actually, no, the Duo got worse ratings than the fucking Philips CDI, which is a really? goddamn. Yeah, which is a fucking shame. That's really odd that the Duo would get low ratings. It I think like the Duo was a good uh, a good follow up system with Turbo Graphics. I guess maybe it was just the marketing. I think that yeah, they basically say like NEC just gave up on it, so don't buy it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. The Sega CD got worse scores, too, than the Jaguar. I think the Jaguar was kind of promising. So here's what they said. Here's what Ed said. Good old Ed. Uh, Until I see carts from some of the A-rated game companies, I just prefer to wait and see before buying the Jag. This system has the potential to be the hot newcomer, though. Ooh. Uh, Danyan. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't remember that guy. I hope the Jaguar doesn't catch the Lynx Plague. The Jag boasts some awesome electronics and an unbeatable price. But if there's no third-party support, it'll simply fade away. Ain't that the that, truth, Danyan? That is that is the absolute truth in terms of what happened with yep. the Jaguar. Here's, uh, here's Martin. Let's hope the system gets some much-needed third-party support. The initial games haven't taken the system's capabilities to the max. I'll give the system a year to blossom. Well, it didn't ever blossom. Kind of rotted away. And, of course, everyone's favorite, Sushi X. The long-awaited Ooh, cat. Ooh, I remember that guy. finally out of the bag. I remember that guy. That guy. Uh, the price is right. <laughs> the graphics are okay. And the sound is well done. The CD games will make this system even better. Get oh. to it, Atari. So sevens across the board. Hmm. Oh, man. And then in 1998, when it came to the end, the honored dead section of their reviews. Everyone was excited about a 64-bit system until they realized that the games weren't that great. In fact, the most highly praised Jaguar game was Tempest 2000, which many of us thought was average at best. Oh. <clears throat> Oof. There is a little blurb from uh, Bernard Stoller on the state of the Sega Saturn in 1998. Ooh, it's not our future. No. Well, he's he gave the bullshit corporate line. Currently, we are focusing the majority of our efforts on Saturn software. Sega is still the number one software company on a global basis. We have some of the most talented producers in the industry, from Yu Suzuki and Yuji Naka to our US-based PD group. The same people who made the great Sega games you loved in the past are hard at work and making great games for the future. There is unstopped potential in the Saturn that the 98 lineup will take advantage of. And then the Saturn died that year. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, anyways. Yeah, Bernie Stolar did the equivalent of just dragging the, uh, dragging the Saturn up behind the tool shed and just going, like, just shooting it right in the face. You're like, oh, Bernie, why? <laughs> shoot a load right in his face no, no, no. It, was, it was more like just one of those like horrible painful things <clears throat> Yosef saying how you doing man I've turned you over hmm Bernie killed Sega uh yeah I mean like I, the funny thing is Bernie like he I think Ian killed Sega with his uh his hate of the Sega Saturn <laughs> it's like Krampus it's like Krampus when all that hope for Sega turns into malice the PlayStation <laughs> appears this I'm like the guy sitting in the corner when uh, Sanchiro is like beating up the children. I'm like, you know, you could be doing that better. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. 
Your, like, your, your lack of faith sent him to the moon. <laughs> or to, or to, space, not even the moon, to yeah. space. Oh, yeah, the, I what? see space asylums in here. Oh, Hello. what's up, man? How you doing? What's up, Mikey? I missed him. Yeah, it's a little bit up. I'm scrolling back. I, to the past. I haven't seen this many people on my live streams in a while, so yeah. Oh, good. You got 33 people. Yeah, they're, uh, they're hanging out. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Jaguar is a surprisingly Jag. popular console. The Jag is the chick mag. That's why. Yeah, totally. Got all the ladies in the chat. And uh, used up all the people <laughs> People on this channel, like, we've, they've seen the CDI too much. It's lost its, uh, its, its magic. Yeah, that that joke that that was a joke that was just drawn on for way too long. <laughs> it's like that NASCAR race that just it just goes too long without any crashes. People just start going home. <laughs> They're like, oh, this isn't fun anymore. Like, oh, or, or maybe there's like too many crashes, and you're like, oh, I feel sick. <laughs> you, know, you get one or two. It's like the CDI is like, oh yeah, okay, wow, look how terrible that is. Oh god, mutant red base yeah. body slam. And then it's like every week you're like, oh god, I'm, I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna puke. Okay, I think if I remember correctly, I can't just keep killing helicopters. I gotta go kill the factories. Let's see the thing, please. Keep doing it. Let's see. Right. HF's doing. Just... Literally, only ever saw the Jaguar in real life. New Zealand. Oh, doing good, man. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Let's see. How much did I pay for my Jag? Actually, uh, so my Jag, I didn't pay anything for it, or at least, so my wife and my best friend got it for me. So I don't know how much they paid for it. <laughs> Should they didn't ring it up so it was like recording you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't trust uh, consoles that I don't buy personally and open up, so Ian is a great guy, Jimmy. It's kinda of funny sometimes. God, you, uh -huh. had, you had me crying last night. Holy crap, I couldn't last night. Last night was, <laughs> was fun. <laughs> God, that was God, that was so good. <laughs> That, I, was God, just, it was I was just speaking the truth. I don't know why everybody's laughing. <laughs> I don't know why I was laughing at what happened to me. <laughs> I, I just said what happened to me, and you know, I come out with my stories. This is why people don't want to come out with their stories, because the the patriarchy, aka Ian, just laughs at them. Oh yeah, that's that's totally it. This is what CDI does to you. I'm gonna punch that. <laughs> makes you makes you incredibly insensitive <laughs> to other people's pain. Uh, space asylum. And there will be no drunken rants for me. I never get drunk. What game showcases the Jaguar's capability the most? What would you say? Uh, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a jag off. So I don't know. <laughs> I think Gorilla Jones would probably know. Oh, there you go. Chris oh, Godzilla, what's with that? Did you call him don't jag off? So there you go. I'm not a jag off. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, in my experience, I think we're probably one of the best looking Jaguar games would have to be AVP. It's it's not one, it's not one of my favorites for sure, but I think that's why people mistakenly said it's the best Jaguar game because you just saw screenshots in an old like game fan or EGM. Yeah, I mean, they never. Played it. It's an expensive game. Like it's, I don't know. Like, I mean, at, for the time, it was probably a pretty a pretty good, acceptable like shooter for the time. But now I find it kind of uh, kind of hard to go back to. Yeah, I, I've seen you play it, and I'm like, ah, I don't know about this. It's, it's very cool, cool uh, concepts, but yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, okay. Just poor execution. Bad as Jaguar was, their Link games were generally pretty good. Oh yeah, the, they, the Link was, was uh, Link was a good handle. It's yeah, just, just bad battery life was that like the main thing and I, bad screen. I, I wouldn't even say or, the uh, I wouldn't say that was like bad about that. I think yeah, price was the main killer of the uh, the links. It was more expensive than the uh, it came out at like one ninety nine, I think. So it was more expensive than the Game Gear, which came out at one sixty nine. Okay. So it wasn't yeah, like I, it was a uh, one guy yeah. had a, a Lynx, and I thought it was the most amazing thing. Yeah. <clears throat> it was yeah, also at his house that I played uh, Genesis for the first time, and I found out that you could get porn on your computer. Whoa. This is like in 1993. It was amazing. Oh yeah, I forgot Iron Silver Three did come out on PlayStation One. Ninety-two. So what is the point of this game? Because it looks like Minecraft right now. Um, your goal is to overthrow the Iron Fist Corporation with your Iron Fist soldier, your Iron Soldier mech suit. But you got to blow up like all these like you got to blow up all these factories and stuff. Okay, you have to punch these factories to death. Well, I find it's you have limited ammo for your rifle, so it gets really annoying later when you have to take down helicopters. Okay. So it's one of those things where you're like, all right, I gotta punch these factories to death, otherwise I'm just I'll, wasting. I'll wasting tell ammo. you what, though, this if I had seen this game when it came out, I would have been like amazed. Like oh, this is God, like yeah. virtual reality. Well, like there's a there's a demo for this thing. I I had never seen it. It actually just looks <clears> really good. And uh, like 
Because it shows like the uh, the mech is launching mortars off its back and it's like blowing up the buildings with like particle effect. It looks pretty cool. I'm just looking at those buildings right now and thinking like, who's in the, who are in those buildings? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? There's people working or what if I was in that building? I'd be dead. And you're like, oh god, siding with the uh, siding with the Iron Fist Corporation. Oh god. Let me see. Oh, this is the sky. There are ammo dumps. Oh, well, I, I know, Gorilla. I'm just talking. I just like to save ammo. It's hard <laughs> to find sometimes. Apparently, Jimmy, Jimmy, don't make me hurt you. Wasn't Gorilla Jones. About, let's see, wasn't there talking about away. a... There, there actually, there was a... Uh, there was a VR headset for the Atari Jaguar that came out. Well, that didn't come out, but, like, there were... There are various models of it around the world. I know a bunch of them are in the UK. And they're very obsessed with them. But it was like the, the the Jaguar VR was interesting because you had to basically just a gigantic infrared projector circle you would put in front of yourself, and then your headset okay. just had a giant like infrared reader on it, so you could look around and like this like one eight one hundred and eighty degree kind of thing, and like and your head became the controller. So like I think the only game they really had going for Ooh. it was a uh, like three D missile command where you shot down stuff by looking at it and then using the controller to shoot. <laughs> So it's kind of like that, yeah. If I, if I, remember, I could be incorrect in terms of my assumption. Fire! Fire! <laughs> fire! 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 Konami one. Uh, uh, I, I saw one of those at freaking a uh, local game shop. I thought about buying it. <laughs> I thought about it. How much is that running running for these days? Uh, I want to say they had it for. It was like thirty bucks, but I'm like, ah, eh, it's kind of expensive just for a joke headset. <laughs> It, was it complete in the box or no, it just no, loose? no, it's just loose. That would just be something cool for you to wear. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you could have this whole like really bad like fake military setup. They'll just set your garage. <laughs> look like a solid snake. Yeah. <laughs> like everything else is like hardcore looking, except the headset looks all goofy. <laughs> it's like, no, it's no. like the really nice backgrounds and the shitty three D graphics. No, not not the Arizona John Roger. It's the one that uh, AVGN did that video on like a over a decade ago, where it's the headset that has the the voice activated Konami. fire controller or something like that. You just make a noise. Uh, blah. Yeah, it's basically it's kind of like, kinda like the Wiimote uh, remote, where it's just like you just waggle it. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. yeah like you, you don't really have to do what you're supposed to do. I should have read the mission objective on this one because I'm like, ah, crap. What do I do? Was, uh, I'll tell you what, those trees are, are just as impressive as the ones in Mario 64, if not oh, yeah. more so, because I think they're actually made of polygons, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah, the, uh, yeah, the ones in freaking Mario 64 are just uh, those, that sprite rotation thing they do. Yeah, you know, I think that's kind of when I realized, oh, Doom is not... Like the characters aren't 3D. I'm like a stupid kid. You're like, I've been lied to! <laughs> oh, Every time you look at the dead body, it always turns. <laughs> These graphics still look good. Hell yeah. This is like the uh, the sequel to Jumping Flash. This is what happens to the rabbit. Well, he I gets find, pissed. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad I dropped like uh, 30 bucks on a SCART scale. Or, yeah, oh my god, I can't talk. A SCART cable for this thing. Because like trying to play this with the RF cables, it was just the grossest experience. Ugh. So is it Chris Saminski's mentioning a VR dinosaur egg game? Oh, I, I, I knew there was a VR Missile Command one. I wasn't aware of the... Uh, let's see, I played with the Virtual oh, it was, Jag. I think it was, like a, I think it was an arcade thing. So yeah, The Wii Tech Nunchuck headset was track-based. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a lot of potential. It's just unfortunate, like, just the folks at Atari just didn't have the resources to really pursue much of it. Because once Sony entered the game, they completely changed the dynamic of the, the video game wars. Or the console wars. You just, like you, Krampus. Just like Krampus came in after you lost your faith in Sega. I, sir... Big bad Sony. Sir, I was a huge Dreamcast fanboy. I had a lot of faith in Sega at that point in time. It's too late. It's too, it's too late. You should have supported them while you could at every possible opportunity. Krampus already fucking wiped out the village. <laughs> Oh, no, what have I done? The station was unstoppable. Oh, weird. So, uh, check this out. So the the trees will render... Ah, oh, he blew up the tree. You could, oh, That's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> You'll see it here in a sec. Let's see. Okay. 
<laughs> I, I oh, noticed it looks like a little, little, little stumpy left. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter for That's the Amiga. Great. I never played that one. But yeah. <laughs> so what, is, what is this money talking here? Virtual Jack VR at night E393. So I guess Gorilla Jones played it now? Yeah, Gorilla Jones, is a, he was in the industry with one of guy. the largest like distributors back in the day. Okay. I know he was like a, a like a, on a mag and everything too, but <clears throat> look at that. Apparently, uh, RGT85 played this game and was really bad at it. I remember forever ago, someone came into my video and was like, "Oh, thank God you can play this game." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Ah, oh, that's good." Yeah, he's he's a he's a guy who's who doesn't actually play video games. He just he looks looks good. Hmm. Oh wait a sec. He's not even one of those actors. What what's that guy's deal? No RGT eighty five. Yeah, that guy looks like he hasn't slept in three years. I don't know. I just remember he like it seemed like he'd go through phases where like he just wouldn't shower and stuff like that. I'm like ah, <laughs> like, I could, I could just tell. I'm like ah, why am I watching you in four K? Ah, <laughs> bro, whatever, man. <laughs> shower is overrated. Yeah. Yeah, just playing this. I'm just too busy playing the Switch, man. Until they make a waterproof Switch, man, I'm gonna go in the shower. <laughs> I'm not taking a bath into the waterproof area. Yeah. Water is anti Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Except you can, apparently, uh, you can boil your fucking NES pins from your, your system. I had, to, to I had never gotten that to work. Like, boiling it I has did, never worked for me. I, I just did it because somebody was like convinced like yeah it works and then i did it and it's like eh, not really i mean i get i get what they're trying to do i guess well but, it's more uh, like like you boil them to get the grime off the pins and then you have to reshape them with a pair of pliers that was what i noticed. right right so it's kind of like okay well Let's see uh blow oh okay you gotta blow up the ship okay so you gotta just go attack the ship that's what we do one of the emmy oh nice man you obsessed with the p I think, uh, I think, I want to say RGB ADT, he discovered that there was a lot of success to be had on YouTube with, like, just talking about the Switch. A lot of them did. Yeah, like, a lot of those guys, so they just, they're stuck in that, uh, that rut. And I discovered, like, with my channel, unfortunately, that I got really big, like, well, I guess big in quotes, like, my channel did really well towards the end of, uh, beginning of 2018. Like, I got, the algorithm picked me up for a while, that was cool. Mm -hmm. But then it, like, it kind of analytically buried me, because I got deployed for a freaking six months and yeah. then I didn't make anything so I'm like no my YouTube channel what about what about that they're like you know, you care about your army career and I'm like well yeah <laughs> you have a family yeah yeah Once you ditch that family and join the switch YouTuber house to be right? honest though I'm like I'm during that on Netflix. oh god yeah, be... <laughs> YouTube switch the YouTube switch user account yeah that. but I am <laughs> I am incredibly happy with some of the videos I made towards the end of 2018 when I got back because I had sat around doing research for him, so I had... Because I'm, I'm still, like, the Hasbro Nemo video is, like, one of my... In terms of, like, original research and concepts, it's one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna let, uh, let the, somebody know about it, and they're gonna just rip off all your research. I hope And not so. credit you, or they'll credit you at the very end of, like, their comment, uh, description area. Like, I credited the guy. <laughs> just steals all my footage, like, 90% of it. Yeah. Like, how do I Especially kill this? Especially goes to all my patrons, but not that fucker. <laughs> not Ian. Oh, yeah. I was that's obsessed that's with the review after you have to read about it in Next Gen Magazine. Oh, yeah. The M you know what? That 98 Buyers Guide talks about the M2. Let me see where it is. Oh, they're talking about Albert Odyssey. Ooh. Duke That's... Nukem 64. Oh my god, this mech has a crazy arm on it, and I would just like to throw these grenades at it. I think there it was we go. The got best, it. best vaporware of 1998. I think that was the award it got. Oh, which one? The M2. Oh, yeah, the, uh, that was the 3DO M2, right? Yep. I have I a. a I, I have a lot of 3DO magazines, and they have some like footage of people playing the M2. It's kind of neat. Uh, I love that there's a hunter killer in this game. Looks pretty sweet. Look at that jet from uh, Terminator. The hunter. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. See, see it, oh, yeah. see, it crashed into a building, and I love the fact it's that not so, it. Yeah. Thank God the AI wasn't that advanced. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, the... Skynet's still learning to fly. 
Gotta get a cyber morph in this thing. Mm -hmm. It's all about Miyamoto, that is. Man, I love this this old magazine. I used to read this shit. It's God, I I miss just like good gamer mags. Like I, yeah. I, I try I tried to read a PC gamer like uh, when I was stuck in the desert because I'm like ah oh, you know I can't have uh can't have electronics because you know they can target you via artillery if your phone's on or whatever and I'm like ah shut up we have laptops we use constantly so this is really dumb I can't have a phone but whatever and so I bought a PC gamer so I'm like sitting out there like uh, just reading that and like the articles I'm like these are trash like they had like they had like that they had like this is. How long ago did freaking Grand Theft Auto come out? Or Grand Theft Auto 5 come out? And they were having articles about Grand Theft Auto mods. I'm like, who cares about Grand Theft Auto? They gotta go. It was pop. I remember I took a picture once of a newsstand a few years ago when I was still living in Hawaii. And there were like eight different magazines about Minecraft. And I was like, well, you gotta go with the trends, man. Yeah. GTA 5 mods. Yeah, it's just... It's the whole section. Now, back then, they used to have like cool sections. Like interviews with people and... Mm -hmm. Eh, yeah, fucking six. Mm -hmm. Here's a here's something that make you sad. That's right. Uh, most GTA promising five. game. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, like. Uh, hmm? Sorry. I was gonna say most promising game company, winner rare, runner up Konami. Oh, <laughs> it was a glorious time. Oh man, good times, good times. Oh, yeah. But yeah, freaking uh, but yeah, PC gamer, they've just really, really fallen on hard times. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta find another Iron Soldier. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh oh. Oh god. Ah. Ah! No! Out of ammo. Okay. I know. I gotta use grenades. Okay, we know that now. No, we know that much. The, the uh, ASCII Sphere 360. Wow. <laughs> that big goofy PlayStation controller with a giant ball at the top. Oh god, that thing! Wasn't it? Yeah. They have a, a a big big section in this about like um, people who make controllers uh, for Interact or yeah, Interact. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're talking about all these funky controllers, but they're going over like some ASCII stuff and Eagle Max, <laughs> Aqualad. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Gorilla Jones. Uh, Ian plays plays good oh. on most other other games, but when he plays on the Saturn, he sucks. I sense conspiracy. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I, I, know, I played right? I played pretty good at freaking uh, Area 51, I thought. Oh, Cameron, man, I appreciate the donation, yep. dude. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, John Christopher Lucy character gave you $5. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, so I bought this, uh, I bought this beer at the store only because it's just the only thing on it is IPA. It just says that. It's just um, called IPA? Yeah. Well, also it says Goose Island in the back, but it, it caught my attention. Ah, it literally, just said IPA. <laughs> I'm like, all right. But I guess I realized that you guys can't see the beer can because it's a solid green, the same color. Yeah. As, <laughs> so it just looks like I'm holding something holding through my hand. Time. So this way, I can get away with drinking on stream, and YouTube can't flag me. So that's fantastic. Just so you guys. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So I, I'm not drinking anything at all. You can't see it. I'm looking at this What's it look like if I hold the can in front of my face? I'm kind of curious. What does that do? Yeah. It's like one of those creepy postmodern art, <laughs> art art pieces. Oh, fine. Well, I gotta hold my hand lower to get the effect. Now it just looks like I'm holding a can in front of my face like an idiot. Let's see here. Let's see, John Rogers says Goose oh. Island sucks ever since they got bought out by Inbiv. Inbiv buys that everybody is creepy. though. Hmm. It's Rorschach. It's blue Rorschach. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so this game would appear you have to sprint around the perimeter of this uh, island blowing up stuff with the grenades is the way to do it. Here's a... They're talking about the Sega Saturn in here, right? Ooh. And the little blurb because they're like it's what's inside that counts, and they have like a picture of the insides of a Sega Saturn, and the blurb goes, "Whoa, there's more silicone here than in the entire cast of Baywatch." <laughs> it was a different time back then. Oh, oh man, writing back then is great. Yeah, is Little Caesars IPA terrible. available at what? Little Caesars makes an IPA. <laughs> 
Is it like insanely cheap and you just pick it up, like they just make it there for you? Is that how it works? I have no idea. Little Caesars is doing anything they can. They realize that five dollar peaches pizzas was a big mistake. Uh, people not knowing the difference between silicone and silicon. <laughs> Good joke though. <laughs> I just think like, you know, people get so butthurt over those jokes nowadays. Yeah. It is a groaner. <laughs> it is a groaner, yeah. but they get angry over the real yep. reasons. So I feel like it's kind of funny. The trees change the closer you get to them. Like they're, it's a little interesting. They do. I, uh, I think Ian is wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'll give it that. That's good. Well, I, I, found mean, the, I, did just, I did just drink this bottle, an entire bottle of beer, which is like... What percentage are you? Like over eleven? Oh. Damn, man. Oof. Here's the here's their write up on the M2. Its specs were expected to put the N64 to shame, but the highly hyped M2 wound up dying a quiet death before it was even launched. Shortly after E3, Japanese electronics giant Matsushita, uh, which bought the M2's rights from 3DO in 1995, announced that the two-year-old project was being canned. We were disappointed, but not nearly as much as the developers who'd been working on M2 titles. Nintendo's DD is our runner-up, although we expect to see this add-on finally hit the States next summer. Yeah, that didn't fucking that didn't happen. I, I feel like Broken the DD I, I feel like the DD for the, uh, the N64 probably could have done well in the States for whatever reason. Because it added like SimCity and some other stuff, and SimCity was huge in the United States. Yeah, well I just remember um, being super hyped for the DD because it was like when I first saw the DD, they had like Doom 64 characters on top of it, and they were like, you could make Doom levels and edit Doom levels. It's like, whoa! So, uh, Godzilla's asking why was it canceled. Yeah, the M2 was canceled just because it was a 3DO follow up, and he really, Trip couldn't get any more people on board for it, unfortunately. Like, pretty much the 3DO had eaten up a lot of its goodwill with mm. Panasonic and those folks, so. I heard they, this was so, they were so ambitious, too. It was just so expensive that. Well, yeah, that, that and, thing well. and the weird thing was like Trip had made the three like the 3DO with the ex expectation that e, uh, that EA would back him up on it, like that they would be like making a ton of stuff for him, mm -hmm. and uh, EA just kind of stabbed him in the back and just walked away. Well, they did have uh, a few good hits on there, some of the some of the better games, as people remember. Mm -hmm. Good old but Overdrive. Oh yeah, 3D had some fun yeah, stuff on it. It didn't uh, didn't have what it needed. Oh, there was not nowhere near. They should have. That's what they should have done. Oh, is got yeah. all the weird, creepy games from Japan and put that in the America. Yeah. And been, <laughs> it would have been. Oh uh, yeah, that would have been really weird. Just all those really odd Japanese creepy games coming on with the 3D. They're like, right? what is this? Oh, that's your dad's creepy Asian fetish system. <laughs> 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 that the greatest one. Yeah. Let's see, uh, Tech says the N64 was crippled by cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the N64 had gone with, like, CD-based stuff. They would have had better textures, bigger games, way more stuff on it. Yeah. I would just imagine, like, if, um, you know, you go to school and the touch is like, yeah, you, you have the, your dad has a 3DO, right? How is it? It's like, I don't know, I, I, when I was supposed to be sleeping, I walked into the room and he was trying to pick up high school girls from Japan and get them to pose naked for photos. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. Oh, wow. I didn't like... read the. I should have read the. What is the mint? What the heck? Hey, option? Oh. When's the fucking Grip Hawkins interview. Right. Well, talk to Geno Genovi. Got to talk. Hey, sure. What's going on, man? Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. I know Genovi did. Yeah, but I'll have when's to, yours? Uh, when okay. is the real, like, creepiest restraining order coming in? It's when like, is the uh, restraining order for you coming in? <laughs> hey, uh, Trip Senpai, how do you feel about 30 year old? <laughs> just like, just random crap like that, you'd be like, I'm uncomfortable <laughs> with this. Yeah. But shh, 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 shh. Very uncomfortable with this, but to let you know the answer, I'm very interested. Whoa. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, uh, Trip in the trunk of my car, just asking him random questions. Oh god. This yeah. is gonna be a white man. <laughs> a white man free free console deals I written on three right on the side. Or I guess free console doors one. One of those lenses. <laughs> Trip's like, oh we can't pass this one. Let's see. Godzilla said three screw EA. 
Hate you know how they snub their nose at Dreamcast. Yes. Oh yeah. One exclusive sports titles on system. But, well, to be fair, the okay, so that was kind of on Bernie Stolar, the whole EA and him. But then EA also wanted an incredibly unreasonable thing, because like Sega had spent all that time developing Studio Black and getting like their sports guys just absolutely probably the like honestly like the 2K series was exponentially better than Magnet. Just didn't have the name. It the was. Game. Yeah, and, uh, and then, then, you know, at the very end of the fucking, you know, I was the PS, PS2 era, at the end of the PS2 era, exclusive NFL rights for EA. Oh, yeah, that, and the, and the crazy thing, so, like, EA ended up buying Studio Black by the end of that anyway, so they ended up buying the 2K series, just buying the crews that did it. So it's, like, yep. yeah, so it's just one of those things where it sucks, because EA just was like, you know what, we want exclusive game rights, like, any sports title has to be an EA game on there, and, like, Bernie Stolar, like, rightfully said no, but Bernie Stolar had already pissed off his overlords at Sega Japan too many times by screwing over, uh, what was that company that poured all those really good, like, Saturn RPGs? Working Designs. Yeah, he had already, already... already pissed off Working Designs and forced them into loving arms of, like, PlayStation and some other companies. I know. So he was already, well... he was already on their shit list. <laughs> Let's see, 2, yeah, 2K was so much better. Resident Evil 2 for N64 is insane. Yeah, I, I actually, I remember going to a Sears of all places and buying that. Mystical, uh, Goemon's Great Adventure and uh, the second Castlevania game with the wolf guy for like 20 bucks sealed each. Or actually, it was made, it might have been like 20 bucks a piece, but it was like three for 50. So I picked all those up in one swoop when I was in high school and I was like, these games are fucking pretty good because I gave up on the N64 for a while. <laughs> But like, Resident Evil 2 is very good on 64, despite its limitations. Sorry, does having military experience help you? <laughs> help you have... <laughs> uh, not like this, uh... But yeah. Depends, you should uh, try Carnage Heart, because in that EGM mag, it was saying that this is the game that needs a PhD to play. Oh, which one? So, that might, uh, Carnage Heart for the PlayStation, there's like two of them. Ooh. It's like a mech strategy game. Oh, oh. PC Engine had more hentai games than regular games. That is not true, sir. That is not true. <laughs> the Dreamcast in Japan had more, like, fucking, like, dating sim and adventure-type games than almost anything else, though. Which, I think, in Japan, that's kind of what hurt it. Oh, it made, it made the purview system? It wasn't, like, you know, like, hardcore shit, but... It just appealed to that market too much. That's why I hate going and shopping for Dreamcast games in the wild, because it's like, uh, it's like high school love story, 18. I ah, fuck this. <laughs> sorry, Godzilla, Panty snatcher. Sorry, Godzilla comment. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good at driving through the project real fast. <laughs> Doesn't help racing games, though. I remember, <laughs> uh, so I was, uh, I was, <laughs> I was, I had a weekend pass, and I was out drinking with a bunch of hopster friends, and we were like, we're, we were drinking in St. Louis, like downtown St. Louis. And, uh, and all of us were, like, just hammered. And so we followed, like, one of the drunkest guys out of the bar, like, one of the guys in our group. And he, like, led us straight into the projects. And, uh, and the funny thing was, like, this cop pulls over, and he's like, you guys shouldn't be here. And then he drove away really quick. We're like, oh, thanks, officer. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm like, what are you all right. doing in here? We're like, yeah, you guys shouldn't be here. We're like, uh, um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and he gave you his badge and his gun, and he got the fuck out. Of <laughs> yeah, and he just drove off. We're like, okay. Uh, <laughs> it was so funny. All right, sir. Yeah, the cops failed. It was just hilarious. But it was like, it was like twelve drunk army guys. So I'm like, I mean, like, what's well, really the worst that could have happened? happened? Yeah, but it was funny though. He's like, <laughs> not it, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I guess Gorilla Jones tried to buy a Super Chat, but it doesn't work on Android. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's cool. Yeah, just to the texture anyway. Get off my lawn! <laughs> Fair enough. My little brother uh, told me he drove through Camden, New Jersey, and stopped at a red light, and a cop told him to just go. <laughs> just go, man. What are you doing? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? Stop it! Get out of here! <laughs> There's no more law here! Just go! <laughs> Can. Yeah, but that was just the funniest thing to me when the cop was like, "You guys shouldn't be here." He just drove away. It's like Camden, New Jersey. It's so dangerous. The old lady snatched your purse. 
Let's see, uh, Jimmy, why does Sony hate the PS Vita? I don't know. I don't know. Not, not in Japan, I guess. Well, the Japan's the same thing. Same thing that happens to all these fucking systems that... Like, all those late, late Sega systems and everything. Just too much weeb shit on there. And it's not even for weebs. It's for jeebs. <laughs> Jeeaboos. I don't, it's kind of weird. Like, I feel like every company that has tried to challenge Nintendo in the handheld market... They just they end up doing some weird thing that just does not work out for them. Like, I feel like the PSP, in terms of all the handhelds that had the opportunity to really challenge Nintendo's dominance, PSP was probably the one that could have done it. And it did so well yeah. because of Monster Hunter in Japan. Yeah. Like, everyone had a PSP. Like, kids, anyway. Every kid had a fucking PSP to play Monster Hunter. So, I mean, it did extremely well. And just like, even like a few years ago, you could still buy, like, PSP games in, like, major retailers. Um, but yeah, in the U.S., they just don't give a fuck. Uh, they didn't give a fuck for the PSP, they didn't give a fuck for the Vita. Yeah, I, I just feel like the only company that really gets the U.S. handheld market has to be Nintendo. Like, this PlayStation oh, yeah. just hasn't figured it out. Like, I don't, then again, like, U.S. gamers are kind of weird. Like, we're not the same you creatures know. the Japanese are in terms of, like, their console habits and such. Yeah, but it, even, like, um, yeah, people would always say, like, oh, it's more, mobile is more, um compatible with Japanese culture because you're always on trains and shit but you know you have like the time to like play these things but look at mobile games they're just fucking big everywhere um, I think the thing with PSP and PS Vita there's some like really good games on them but it's like you know this is like playing a PlayStation 2 game in your hand or you know in the palm mm. of your hands or like this is playing a PS3 in the palm of your hands it's like well fuck that I'd rather just play PS3 for these kinds of games right I think what Nintendo always understood is like they had to make games that were very compatible for that mobile experience. And uh, that's why, like, the DS, everybody laughed at the DS when it came out. Oh, two screens. But, like, it had a gimmick, and it, it was... Mm -hmm. They did interesting things with it you couldn't get on a console. So, like, instead of having, like, this is like a console game, except shittier. <laughs> you know? They, they had something that was unique. And now mm -hmm. they have a, a shitty console and handheld combo. Hey, Aaron Walsh, good man. How you doing? So, yeah. Uh, most people use PSP in my house because the MP3 play. There you go, and to watch porn in class. There you Man, go. Man, freaking! I remember like when the Zune came, the Zune came out. And I'm like, this is my jam. Yeah, dude. Now the Zune is like a hipster MP3 player of choice. God, dude, it could play like any video format. Rule. I wanted one just because it was like I can get Xbox achievement points. Oh yeah, I forgot you were a huge Xbox nerd back in the day. I was when I was living in Japan. I did play some of the best, but. Aaron Welsh should have been coming in like Alex Delarge. Welly, 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 welly. Let's see. Zune is still supported on Xbox One. That is fucking insane. <laughs> that some somebody's got a lot of pride over at Microsoft and the Xbox division or whoever the Zune maker. We're still supporting it, bitch. <laughs> Super burnout. Raiden. John Rogers got that oh, Zune. Oh yeah, Raiden is freaking sweet on the uh, the Jack. One of my coworkers has that. He loaned it to me, and I'm like, man, this rules. <laughs> Dang. Oh, he was like, I'm, he's like, I can't really get my copy of Raiden to work. Can you, you want to take a look at it? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I just took it and cleaned it up with alcohol wipes and got it working perfectly. I'm like, God, it's like an arcade. It's an arcade perfect, like, port of the game, for sure. That sounds awesome. So, like, because Raiden Trad's, like, one of my all-time favorites. Dude, I used to, like, fucking get, um, get, I, like, when I was living in Japan, like, I was hyped on, like, Raiden Fighters Aces. Mm -hmm. And I, that was, like, probably the game that I bought and sold back to the store the most times in my life. <laughs> Don't probably me. about four or five times. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong with my life? Everything. So, yeah, the writing games are awesome. Oh, I like, the one thing, the only thing I don't like about the, the writing games is how they got, they messed up some of the targeting stuff to where... Like, the blue beams are, like, targeting. They, like, fly around the screen and attack things on their own. I'm like, I hate this mechanic. <laughs> that's just, like, the later the later versions of it, though. But mm. other than that, I still like friggin' as a smop. It's, like, one of my favorite, like, franchises, I guess, in that genre. Yeah, man. But then again, friggin' Blazing Lasers. Holy crap, that game's great. But it's just, like, such a dumb name. <laughs> like, why yeah. would you do well, that to your... It's, like, Gunhead, Gun Knack, I mean, like, Alesta... Like, but like Blazing Laser isn't much. Mile had all these kind of better. goofy names. It was better for the, the time, I think, in like the market. Blazing Laser. I think of like um, you know, Blazing Saddles. I don't know if they were trying to oh. like make it a thing like that, where like 
It's gonna fucking know that, right? Yeah, Aaron, this is a this is a 3D mech game. I'm just punching buildings because I don't want to waste my rifle ammo. He's just angsty. He's just punching buildings. Yeah. It's like is the is the robot equivalent of like you know humans like punching walls when they get angry? Like, oh, I'm so mad. Oh, so my wife and I have you ever heard of the movie Tiptoes? No. So it's a, a film that came out in 2004, starring Gary Oldman, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Keira Knightley, uh, Peter Dinklage, and it's a film about how. I'll tell you the, the fun, interesting thing about it. Uh, so Gary Oldman plays a uh, dwarf character in it. Okay. Yeah. So he like he does the entire movie like on not his Peter knee. Dinklage. Not Peter Dinklage. Like he plays okay. alongside Peter Dinklage, who's a weird. Like, he plays Peter Dinklage plays a weird French character in the movie, who's friends with Gary Oldman. But the film revolves around uh, Matthew McConaughey, who has dwarf parents, but he didn't have the genetic uh, genetic genes to make himself a dwarf, so he was full sized. So it's like dealing with this whole weird thing. So it's just such a terrible film. And I was talking to my wife about it. It's like we need to watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like a train wreck. We need to watch it. Let's watch the train wreck. Oh, real quick, I was going to talk about it, a not train wreck movie I just saw last night, but uh, Godzilla 76's Blazing Saddles was awesome. Can't make that game today. I wish there was a Blazing Saddles game. But excuse me while I whip this out. That would have been a good, like, Duke Nukem quote. Excuse me while I whip this out. God, I don't think I, I don't think uh, I think the world's too PC for a movie like Blazing Saddles. They could no, like half those yeah. fucking things that can't be made. You know, I, I have a couple of movies that uh, that I brought back with me on my last trip. One was Kentucky Fried Movie. I don't think you can make that movie th these days. And uh, also Idiocracy. Funny enough, even though it's a documentary for today, <laughs> it's a. Uh, I don't think you can make that again. It's a weird soothsayer tome about the future. Yeah, oh, I've heard really good things about 1917. My uh, my stepdad wants to go watch that. Excellent. Yeah. 17. It's a. It does kind of like camera tricks where it looks like a one simultaneous shot, apparently. Oh, that's cool. I was watching um, Red Letter Media's uh, year in review stuff or whatever, and they were talking about some Japanese zombie movie that was like that. Oh, yeah, apparently that one's like that fantastic. Looked, that looked pretty good, yeah. I do want to see The Lighthouse. I think they talked about that in that as well. I've heard that one is. Uh... Pretty fun. I, my only problem is I get. I've I, seen I really, clips online. I Whoa. really, really hate. Uh, Crazy. What, what's the actor's name? Patrick. Uh, oh, uh, fucking Twilight guy. Yeah, Twilight. I really, I hate him so much. But he's like good in it. I've seen a. I've seen I some know, clips. I need, for I need, him. I, maybe I need to watch again or whatever. Like give him a second chance. But I guess can't. I've seen some other stuff. I can't he died stand. in Harry Potter, man. Come on, man. Can't Come stand the guy. <laughs> he's Cedric Diggory. <laughs> Robert Pattinson. Hey, thanks. Pattinson. That's what it was, Robert Pat. Thank you, Robert Pattinson. Nah. So you don't like Batman? Oh yeah, because like, he's gonna be Batman now. Yeah. I, you know what? After seeing some of those clips in Lighthouse, I'm like, he might be a good young Batman. I don't know, man. I just remember when everybody laughed at Heath Ledger being Joker. So. You know, I, I don't I, think he's gonna be a, a good Batman. I what, honestly like I, Heath Ledger. I always kind of liked him because I remember watching uh, the show Roar back in the day. He was What's like, that? You ever see the show Roar starring Heath Ledger? No. Uh, he doesn't... was a like Celtic tribesman who found the Spear of Destiny, basically. And he oh. used it to fight the Romans. Nice. Sweet. Or a, right, Celtic, yeah, Celtic, cool. a Celtic Britain. There we go. And he used it to fight. It was a fun show. But like ultimately, I saw that. I'm like, you know what? This, kid, this kid's going places. <laughs> I saw that one. <laughs> Yeah, Rob Pat's new Batman, man. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I, now that I've seen him in like things that aren't goofy fucking Twilight bullshit, I don't think. Yeah, like that. No one could say nobody can make Twilight work. It was just bad writing. It's kind of like Star Wars prequels. <laughs> Everybody like shits on Hayden Christensen. I blame. I, yeah, I feel like God. I, I feel so, I feel Boy. so bad for Hayden Christensen and uh, the kid who played Anakin Skywalker. Jake Walker. Lloyd. Yeah, Jake yeah. Lloyd. That poor that head. poor kid. Like his his life got ruined from that. Uh, he just he goes to. Uh, comic cons and shit, and he looks miserable. <laughs> he looks fucking miserable. Well, he uh, he got arrested not too long ago for going like a high speed chase with the police. Uh, police. Jeez, man. Well, maybe he should have been the Fast and Furious movies. Mm. There you go, Gabe. Gabe, yeah, it's because you know, as everyone else says, it is Idiocracy is a documentary. There's no like, there's no like, what? It's just true. I think we, we've right. accepted. Maybe like this ten years ago, if you would have said that, it'd be like, "What the fuck?" Oh, he. I, yeah, I think he actually is a melon. It's the current. Yeah, poor guy. 
He's in a man. So what the fuck happened in the last couple of years with Jake Lloyd? Uh, a lot of verbal abuse and Star Wars fans aren't exactly the Star most uh, forgiving fuck. bunch in terms of like, you know, franchises. They are fucked in the brain, as they say. And I love Star Wars, you know. I will, I will. I fucking throw down love Star, Star Wars. Wars. I love Star Wars. This is like I said, you know, I always bring it up, but I was the guy who played Star Fox dressed as in a full Darth Vader costume when I was a kid. So these, these like people hurting Jake Lloyd's feelings. He was in fucking Star Wars Pod Racer. Hello, the great game. Yeah. Fuck these people. London Bridge. Jake Lloyd was best movie was Jingle All the Way. Yeah, he was the little God. black kid who wants the purple man. <laughs> Rex word is ATSTs. ATSTs. <laughs> Destroy the I center. I fucking Shrek love the Star Wars. <laughs> I fucking love Star Wars. Here's the thing: John Rogers Star Wars became Ooh. a religion, and then it became corporate fucking like stool. It's just, yeah. it's just the worst thing, man. It's like it's like a Final Fantasy to me. Like the video game equivalent is kind of like Final Fantasy at this point. At least in Japan, they have Final Fantasy on everything. It's not special. You can go you can go to the store. You go to like an electronic store, and they have a whole section of just Final Fantasy merchandise, overpriced bullshit. It's not special. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like the only thing like I never liked Final Fantasy Seven. <laughs> Whoa. I, I know Final Fantasy VII has its flaws, but I still like it. I don't know, I mean, like, for RPG, I'm like, yeah, cool. I guess I've never really been into JRPGs, but... Yeah, see, I was, I was a big RPG become, guy. It's become, like, the juggernaut it was. I was kind of like, eh. Yeah. Well, it, it did bring a lot of people. I remember getting... I got a lot of people who were like, JRPGs are for hetero challenges. Oh, uh, well, I mean, like, just, like, like, it got... Well, it they, got... They didn't they like it. So. It made that genre so widely accepted in the West for a long time. It did, and a lot of a lot of games tried to copy it. Um, you know, it was it was an even bigger hit in Japan. But yeah, MTV started showing commercials for Final Fantasy VII. And that's when I knew it was like I gotta get a PlayStation. And I played my first real good Final Fantasy for the first time, just like months before getting a PlayStation. I played Final Fantasy VI, three, and I thought like this is like the greatest game ever made. Why didn't I ever play this? My, my, my problem was when I was a kid and somebody told me that you got to play Final Fantasy. He was talking about Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 4. I went to Blockbuster and rented fucking Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. And I thought it was the biggest piece of shit. And I was like, I'll never play Final Fantasy. This is what everybody likes. <laughs> Fuck That's this game. it. Aaron Walsh just said, uh, I mean, Final Fantasy 7 is no random Jaguar 3D shooter, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. FF7 is all right, but I prefer 1, 4, and 6 mainly. And then... And then Godzilla Jones is, uh, FF7 is gay shit. It's gay shit. Well, hmm. it should be flushed down the toilet. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, everybody's got their preferences, but... Yeah, I loved, uh, loved the old Final Fantasies, for sure. I love when my mech just kitty cat, kitty cat scratches the roof of this factory. That's like, love that. It's like, <laughs> I see <it> now. <laughs> it's like, Mrah. should just do, um do a gameplay video of this and just add in sound effects. <laughs> I don't know, one of these days I might go back to actually doing like legit game reviews like I used to do, but they just, those got so widely ignored by the majority of the YouTube community, I'm kind of like, eh. Yeah. They were fun to do, though. A couple, maybe here and there. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to say the uh, the pinnacle of my game review, like when I was into that phase of my channel's history, was the, uh, the Zadnos one. I'm like the most happy with that one. And the, and the weird gimmicks and effects I used in that one. Oh, yeah. Is it the one where the dog was in it? Oh, yeah, the, the, dog, the dog was in it. Uh, I, I, I did green screen stuff to FMV myself into the game. It was great. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know what I always remember is like, I, yep, that's a Jaguar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's like, like getting creative here. That, 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 was, that was pretty fun. I was like, ah, it'd be funny if like, hey, Jimmy, what's up, man? Jimmy. <laughs> or Jeremy. Ah, Jeremy. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I got a... Uh, I, finally, I finally fixed the laser on the uh, the PlayStation he sent me. So I'm probably... Maybe probably not next weekend, but weekend after next. I got army crap to do next weekend. Gonna do a big Japanese import game stream that Jeremy had sent me. Nice. Yeah, he sent yeah, me like, give me a crap ton of games. So you, you need to be on it to help me translate it. 
I'll try my best. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what kind of some of these weird. Like I know one of them's a quiz show game. I remember he showed me it. Yeah, yeah. Now I think it's like a betting quiz show game, like or like some of those ones. It might be like an FMV game where you have to like take bets on what people do or how they react to things. Yeah, it's like based on like a. Place variety. your bets now. <laughs> oh God. How big American penis? Uh, this is big. Uh, this is big. Oh, oh, uh, this is big. <laughs> Oh no! Let's see. Uh, how yeah. long do you have left in the army? Uh, I'm gonna go probably for another. Let's see. I'm gonna shoot for another 14 years. So I'm shooting for. Wow. Okay. But yeah, I'm also cool. I'm also an officer, so I don't have to work as hard as most people. It's been nice. Just, just yeah. saying. Except for when they slap on like you know heavy gear. Yeah, except, except when like I, I load up in full battle kit and I weigh over 300 pounds with all my gear on. But yeah, whatever. Well, yeah. But no, it's, uh, I don't know, I really enjoy my career in the army, and I do a lot of other stuff outside of just my standard chemical weapon stuff that I do. That's right. Yosef, I had to turn my PlayStation upside down as well to get games to work for, until it just finally died out on me, but yeah. I probably spent thousands of hours on that PlayStation. Um, the little, um, what do you call it, the disc holder in the middle is always, like, just really early on, it started just cracking off. I just use it so much, and uh, yeah, I, know, I was like, I remember looking. I was like, made in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, Air Welsh, I am NBC. That's what, that's what they used to call it, but the uh, the Chemical Corps changed that acronym because NBC was too easily used as nobody cares, and they changed it to Seaburn because <laughs> they were like, you know, we gotta we gotta include radiological in that one as well because it's chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear, and NBC only covered, you know three of those because they were so paranoid about dirty bombs there in the early 2000s they decided to incorporate that into the name of the uh, the branch mm -hmm. let's see Jared yeah, Dixon yeah. got out at 40 he was pretty young <laughs> and everyone's like nobody cares nobody cares yeah Jeremy got out uh... yeah stuck in a building Dude looks like a young Jeff Bezos without any hair. I, don't know, I, ju I also I joined the army pretty late though, but I find I'm in better shape than most of my peers though, which is kind of funny. Are they hitting that dad bod era? Uh, <laughs> so a lot of them are, but yeah, I don't know. Even some of the lieutenants are in better shape than they are. I guess I have that benefit. Maybe because you guys aren't doing as hard work, so you're not like drowning your woes and. No, really I just, bad. I've always been very strategic about, like, uh, I mean, I, I've done, like, infantry stuff and all that kind of crap, and I I, I just, I've avoided the, uh, hey, they're like, all right, we're doing infantry stuff, make sure you put your ruck up to 70 pounds, and I'm like, do I really need 70 pounds worth of equipment? I mean, I understand that you guys are going to have ammo and stuff, so I'm, not, I'm just not going to bring some things and just uh, <laughs> suffer in the field to save my knees. <laughs> Yeah, Dixon. He uh, he fixed the laser on your your blue PlayStation. So instead of you playing that tonight, he's playing the fucking Jaguar. Cause, <laughs> yeah. Oh god, it was know? funny. So I was I was texting uh, well, I was messaging Jeremy, and I'm like, "Are you sure that you sent me the right laser?" Because I was like trying to use the plate because there's a, a a plate variant between the laser generations, like when they released them, like the they just didn't have that. And I'm like, I, I feel like I'm going doing it wrong, but yeah. <laughs> Hashtag humble brag. It's the Ian. Do you um, ever fire a Yeah, I have. It's pretty fun. The uh, the AT4 rocket system is way cooler though. That's the B anti tank weapon we use. That one makes you really like it's like it presses down on your shoulder and makes you really want to pee. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Is there is there a, a pressure point on your shoulder that makes you piss your pants? No, or? just uh, the concussive blast of a rocket flying off your shoulder makes your blood like just makes your body it feel just kind of shit. Sends some shock it's, it's like ah, uh, like, that's really weird. I've never felt that sensation before. <laughs> yeah, but no, the AT4 is just like a fire and forget rocket. It's not like cool like a javelin or something like that, which are the ones that like the you, like a javelin. You have this sweet ass like display screen. You lock into a target. It fires it straight up into the air. Go toe or no go. <laughs> God, I, I, think, I think the last time I saw a toe system. Like, I know the Bradleys have a shit ton of toes. But I've never really... I've gotten to ride on Bradleys a couple times. I've never gotten to use their weapon system, though. 
But Bradleys are funny, though, because, like, they're... Uh, they got me. Uh, but Bradleys are interesting, because the only way... So the only way the toe can be loaded is the turret has to rotate back counterclockwise, and an infantry guy in the back who's riding with the vehicle has to physically open a hatch and load a rocket into the back of the turret. And so you're like, that's terrible. <laughs> and then, like, so... In or, and also, like, the... Uh, the the main cannon on a Bradley fighting vehicle is uh, it's like this it's an electromechanical uh, electromechanical firing apparatus so it actually doesn't technically use the recoil of the round exploding like, to reload it it uses a mechanical system to feed rounds into it so it's like this crazy it sounds so cool when these things are rapid firing because it's like a I want to say like a forty millimeter cannon that's just like pumping rounds like HE or uh, armor piercing stuff downrange. But, like, it's electromechanical, so you're sitting inside and you just hear all these mechanisms going. So in order to reload it, the, the turret actually has to be a certain angle in the vehicle, and you physically open this, like, chain, not a chain, but, like, this, like, uh, sheet metal hatch, and then you start feeding in chains of ammo. 30 millimeter, thank you. But, like, man, Bradleys are freaking interesting. <laughs> it's just, it's so weird in terms of, like, the main gun on those things. Yeah, a, helico a helicopter company developed the main gun for the thing. God bless America. I guess Lost <laughs> Gemini 2000 wants to know what's the next game to play on the Jaguar. I mean, is it time uh, to move on? Or yeah, yeah I guess we can move on. We can move on. But uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Let's. I'll show you guys Way of the Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. This game is no, oh. <laughs> just the worst. Because I'm gonna make you guys suffer through the bad stuff before we get to AVP. Yeah, Bradley's 30 million or nuts. Yeah. Uh. This is the game that's a really odd fighting game, and I just suck at it. So how you doing, Jimmy? I'm doing all right. You know. Oh, Syndicate? I just, uh, I'm, I'm still a little bit sad that, you know, I came out with my story yesterday and you all laughed at me. So. <laughs> that's just, uh... You know, I, I'm going to write an editorial for the New York Times. You know, mm. victim shaming is a real thing. And I learned through a, a historic <laughs> nerd stream. It's even, it's even worse at the, uh, in, the, in the YouTube community where they just laugh at you. Yeah. Who knew that people were so mean on the Internet? <laughs> the Internet's such a mean place. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Well, not now that Susan has anything to do with it, you're not allowed to call somebody a fucking retard anymore. <laughs> you get banned. Mentally deficient. Wait, what? Why is this? Oh crap! Why is this two-player? Wait, can you play this game cooperatively? It looks like it. Oh, I can attack. Wow, and you can beat up sailors. This is like the Shenmue prequel we never got. Uh, Aaron Welch. Yeah, it came out yesterday, and you guys all—they all laughed at me because mm -hmm. they're not progressive enough. Mm -hmm. They're 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 passive progressives, as Red Letter Media would say. Passive they talk, progressives. They talk, they talk a lot about this, you know, acceptance thing, but those are for the little people. No, I just talked about how um, how things go down in Portland. I was just warning young Stika, mm. you know. he's uh, he, I think he's a little bit in over his head for this Portland retro gaming thing, and I just wanted to let him know. Yeah. I feel I feel like this game, it it's not good because of the control scheme here, because I only have a three-button Jaguar controller. I feel like with a six, it might, might be better, more fighting appropriate. But it's just it's so random. So are you actually playing this? Yeah, I'm playing. I'm the uh, the one that's bouncing around. And the other <laughs> one is... Uh, and the sailor just uses a chain for some reason. This might have been... He might have just come out of the, the hell hotel room at PRGE. <laughs> <laughs> he still got it attached to his, his person. So you're cooperating with P2. Oh, what? I could step on his face? I, I have no idea why I'm... A, I, I didn't know why the second player thing appeared. I don't have a second controller hooked up, so I've never had that happen before. And I wasn't aware this was a uh, two-player thing. Hey, Alex, what's up, man? How you doing? Oh, there you go. Speaking of a guy who was a witness to some shenanigans. This is not a good game. Not, not that are. first year. Johnny Smitty. I remember when I fired my first javelin missile. We had to protect the ground. Oh, wow. 
Good thing Ramirez helped me. Hmm. Yeah, I never fired a, fired an AT4, but I never fired a, a javelin. G Brill, time for me to sleep. Finish watching the uh, vid later off stream. Good catch night. Catch you later, man. Get easy. Uh, please fire the grenade launcher in the general direction of my ex-wife. <laughs> well, text next. Maybe, maybe you and uh, Ian can arrange some sort of throw mama from the train kind of deal. <laughs> you, you take care of your ex-wife, and you take care of... Uh, who, who do you want murdered, Ian? Ooh, who do I want murdered? Who do you want murdered? Whoa, that sailor guy is just punching Bruce I know, this right guy, like, he's just like... This sailor guy moves way more agile than freaking... And the Shit, weird thing is, that, is, uh, is that Brad Pitt? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, Why is he kicking crap. Bruce Lee's ass? I know, this game sucks. You know, like, it take, the fights take forever. You can't do any damage when you hit him. So it's just like, this is just the worst. See, I got to fire a dragon right before they entered it. Oh, damn, that's awesome, Aaron. Bring out the fake I, know, I, know Aaron was a, I know Aaron was Marine. Bruce Lee. Leroy. Alright, but hey, I'll be right back, so enjoy the subtle sounds of Way of the Dragon. Hang on one sec, guys, if you wouldn't mind entertaining the stream. Oh, I'll, tr I'll try my best. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know how I could entertain anybody or after you guys betrayed me yesterday, coming out with my story. My He Too movement. Uh... Let's see. That's the Navy for you. Why did you pick this game? It's so bad. I think that he only has five games. So he had to pick something. I actually had never seen this one before. And this looks way worse than even that Xbox Bruce Lee game that was hyped up. So, I don't know. Fucking poor Bruce Lee. People shit on Bruce Lee all the time these days. Everybody's like a, a fucking like armchair MMA fighter. So they think Bruce Lee's a fucking like loser or something. Very sad. Technics, that is true. I've been here the whole time. His head got even bigger. <laughs> Ooh, Ian's. Ian's old big old potato sack head. He's he's a big corn fed boy. You've seen him in person. Uh, what story are we talking about? I have no idea. Uh, Alex made a lot of bits on stream early. I guess he was Twitch streaming. Of course he always does. Uh, the 69 seemed too buggy. Well, if it's 169, he came to the right place. Uh, there was one game that looked good with the 169. What, what, what game? I think people say Sonic looks okay with 16. I don't know what he's playing though. The Navy is tripping out, but doesn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, he's he's seeing two Bruce Lees. What the fuck would you do in this situation? You're you're you, you got your shore leave. You're trying to just pick up some hot Chinese pussy, and you get, you're surrounded by two Bruce Lees. You're just trying to bang that chick in the yellow dress over there. And one guy in the background's got that chick in the red dress, doing just fine. Let's see, this is based on a biopic starring Lauren Holly. Yeah, that was a great one. Lauren Holly. Very hot lady. Love her and pick up Uh Better not tell Ian or else he will go for it. Go for what? Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, how you doing? Let's see, Ian is drunk, Alex. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, Jim and I came, man. What's up? <laughs> Let's see. True. If I didn't save the civilians in the time, they would destroy the right away. Oh, interesting. So he's waiting to complete the H with two Bruce Lees. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. The Navy guy is just going back and forth. With the... that, that, that Navy guy is waiting for one of those Bruce Lees to do a two finger push up on him, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, What are you guys doing? What are you going to hang? Ah! Oh, God, where are you putting that? Ah! Oh. Ah! Is he I just, have joined the army. just potentially save this one? Oh. Huh. Navy guy's just, he's freaking <laughs> out, man. I was just saying, he's just trying to get some shore leaf poon, and all of a sudden, he's got double vision. He heard about the, he heard about Bruce Lee's fabled two finger push up. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the kind of shore leaf just, I was uh, I was advertised so to. So if, I, I, if I attack him, so he'll, he'll okay, you'll look at this second player. Oh my god, you can just, you can just keep slowly punching him. Really? And he, and, he, and he doesn't. This is coded so poorly. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. That's that. Well, did the Jaguar. Hey, you heard it here first, folks. 1994 EGM Buyer's Guide, straight sevens. Better that better purchase than a duo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so you can get a Neo Geo flashcard stream. Oh man, if I ever find a Neo Geo for a reasonable price, I'll definitely pick one up. Cheap pattern. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to uh, AV. Uh... Dude, that Navy guy with the nut shots again. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, just burp right in the mic. Apologize, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to AVP. Let's play that for a bit. That's a pretty fun game. That works. Got the uh, all the overlays here, and I accidentally broke one of the tabs on the alien overlay. It makes me sad. <laughs> let's see. You should get a Neo Geo in a flash cart and stream Neo. Yeah, that would be good. And also, the trailers are trying to avoid being made airtight. <sighs> oh, yeah. He was lied to when he was recruited after high school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheat pattern, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. This came out three years after Street Fighter Two. That's uh, that's correct, Chris. <laughs> Why are you punching Bruce? No, Bruce Lee is being punched. Ian is being punched in the balls by some Navy <laughs> guy who's really. He had too many fucking mushrooms. All the people in the back, like time stood still, and two Bruce Lees are yeah. trying to punch him, to like, Aaron, kick his fucking head off. So Aaron asked, "What am I gonna miss?" I've heard so many good things about the Mister. That's something I gotta look into. Uh, if you if you watch Bob's uh, YouTube or go to his website, yeah. it's the Mister Show. Fifty bucks. Oh man, that's a bummer. That's Turbo Graphics Duo. Is there a is the second OSSC the OSSC Pro? Is that gonna have a Mister built in? Is that the the, the mumblings? I so. something like that. I know Bob was talking about. The funny thing is, I was talking to Bob. I don't have the Mister built in. And uh, cause cause Bob and I like Bob like I think he t he took an affront to the fact that I'm like yeah I'm just not too. Uh, committed about buying an OSSC or all that stuff yet because I'm just so like like I don't really well I guess impatient. I'm not uh, too committed to this conversation Ian and um you're blocked <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> no I freaking like Bob that guy's great uh, Bob Bob is a good good bud I felt so bad though because like uh, I went to that thing uh, Bob's a uh, retro create thing right and all these all these who's who's of the fucking retro hardware community were there. I don't know who the fuck these people are. Like, I knew a few of them. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen your interview on Bob's channel. I was like, I don't know who the fuck some of these people are. Like, God bless, though. Artemio was there, and he was a fucking sweetie. It's like the nicest fucking guy. I feel so stupid around these people, too. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. But they're they're all they're all nice people, very nerdy people, good people. Yeah, Ian, have you played the NES Narc port? Uh, I think I've seen it, but I don't really check it out. Let's see. I'm glad to be alive. I had a, this guy throw a knife and it landed in my chest. I pulled it out and threw it back. <laughs> Damn, John Smithy's living like a fucking uh. He's living in the uh, same universe as the uh, Big Trouble in Little China. I'm like, is that a all in the reflexes? I feel like that's but you got Call of Duty Modern Warfare three. Is that a Modern Warfare? I feel thing? like it's Modern Warfare. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> I threw it. At, I threw it back at Lance, Lance Henriksen's forehead, and he died. Hmm. And white goose spewed out of oh. his fucking forehead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was, Bob started this like. Uh, God, what was it? Uh, a, a thing about like true 16 by 9 on the SNES. I'm like, mother of God. Modern Warfare 2. There we go. Thank there you, you go. Tex. Okay. I actually played that one. Is that at the end? Is that when Mohawk <laughs> So we get real life and Modern Warfare mixed up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Character select. So we'll start by playing the Marines because I have the Marine overlay put in. Let's do it, man. James is terrible at video games, though. Are you talking about James Ralphie? I don't know. I feel like uh, this whole, like the rental review series. I've been watching it, but I'm not... I feel like... I don't know. I can remember his movie reviews being more passionate back in the day. Oh, he had he had really good ones back when yeah. we were all on like, uh, Cinemassacre.com. This mm -hmm. was like years ago. I actually used to go there and watch that shit. Man. Oh, yeah. I used to watch them all the time. I don't man. know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not digging the... The Rental Review series right now. But then I, I guess well, that, like I always say, it's like, you know, if I want to watch it like that, I'll just watch Red Letter Media. They are, God, they are the best. And I think that's kind of like, you know, what it is. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I can do that. But they do it with a, a kind of like, just the kind of way they do it. It's just like it never, even though I have a shtick, right? Mm -hmm. I never get tired of it. 
Well, yeah, it's and it's always and it's always good info too. And I mean, they're like well well thought yeah. out. Well, yeah, I think it's because I don't know. I guess feel like they're they're very knowledgeable. They have a lot of experience about it, even though like they're not like the best filmmakers themselves. But they have this amazing self-deprecating sarcasm about it, which is just so amazing. Like it's so well well done. Yeah, you know what? That marine. I always thought he looked like uh, Robert Pattinson. So maybe he's gonna be in the next Aliens movie. <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> confirmed. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Halo, uh, Half Life Three confirmed. He's gonna be. He's gonna be the next Hicks recast. Yep. Young Hicks adventures. Well, there's actually a lot of cool Young Hicks adventures. Like, <laughs> yeah. why does he have that heart on his uh, armor? Oh, that was like his ex-wife who got killed by aliens in the comics or something. Uh, there's ever uh, what is it? Oh my God, what's his name? Um, there's a YouTube channel I've subscribed to where the guy went through and he actually like re reenacted a lot of the Earth the Earth War comic Dark Horse series. Uh, I think it's like Alien. Alien something explained, but it's like, it's like a channel, like a pretty big channel. Oh, it's like Alien Theory? Yeah, Alien Theory, there were. Thank you. Yeah, a, a couple of years ago, I, I got into that channel, and it was really neat. Oh, yeah. I, like, I, I haven't seen anything for a long time. I spent like a weekend just going hardcore just into the Earth War, oh, freaking awesome. just binging that like, whole series you did. It was fantastic. Oh, I've, I've not seen any of those, so I'll have to take a oh, look at those. Oh, they're so good. It's like, and the way he does it, like you get like you get into like the feeling, the vibe of it, because he... He spent time doing these slow pans and then like cutting out panels yeah, I and know. doing like graphical like uh, like video line effects to panels underneath it, so it looks so freaking good. Yeah, I remember it was just very like it was just very easy to digest, but not like stupid easy to digest. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like it's like it was clear like he was staying pretty accurate to the the tone of the comic and all that, and but still reading it reading it and showing it to you in a visually interesting way. Oh man, it's so good, dude. Yeah, Hicks was okay, but Hudson was the way Steve. cooler. Yeah. Which one was Hudson? That was the... Hudson is game over, man. Game oh, yeah. Over. Bill, uh, Bill Paxton. God, I love Bill Paxton. I don't know if you just noticed, but we just got our asses kicked. <laughs> <laughs> was the Bill character. I love that. Yeah, Hudson. Oh, Too bad he, got, he got eaten through the floor like a fucking bad pro wrestling fucking gimmick. Yeah. You no. Know? Yeah, good old Hudson. Yeah, that they get, that movie was so good for its fucking. You know, that makes me. I gotta fucking finish that Aliens video. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean, if you ever need footage, I got freaking somebody. Uh, God, I'm sure who it was, but they sent me Aliens on Laserdisc, like the Aliens Collector's Edition on Laserdisc. I, I have I have Aliens on Laserdisc, and actually, like two years ago, when I was filming bits for it, I brought my Laserdisc out to like different places to, to film shots of it to talk about the movie. <laughs> So I have all this old footage. Beautiful. I went, to, I went to an old, like an old, like um, 1800s era train because like all the fucking like mechanics look kind of like, you know, kind of looks like an alien movie. And I was like, I'll use that as a backdrop, and no one will know what it is. But uh, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, and it was like kind of like, oh well, I never fucking did the video. You know, I have all the fucking footage, and the script is written out. I have to just cut it down. It was oh, like eight pages. God, Seven Beatles brought up a. Uh... My wife and I, like, we, my wife and I are huge Predator fans. Like, my wife is a huge Predator fan. And so we've had to deal with, like, the degradation of the Predator franchise. And we're both just kind of sad. That is, that is fucking... <laughs> oh, man. That is, uh, you know, and everybody was super excited because, um, what's his name, did the script or whatever for, or directed that Predator, the Predator? Yeah. Yeah. And it just ended up being shit. Apparently, I, I, I haven't I, seen it. And you know what? Really, like, what the funny thing? What it made predators what bothered, look like is like that's awesome. I think what yeah. what bothered me the most was at the very end when the uh, the special forces captain guy, he's in his like ASDU dress uniform on base, and he has his same shitty beard. And I'm just like, God, why? What what officer <laughs> in his right mind would don his ASDUs and still have such a shitty beard in his face? And it just it just bothered me to my core. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm so mad. Like, uh, I'm, not, I'm not seen it, man. But I just I just heard I heard things, you know, yeah. as they say. Mm-hmm. I, I can't I can't uh, I can't get excited about like new Predator or anything. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, like even like Predators was a fun movie, with the exception of. Some... I think that's really where yeah, they, like, there's a they cool started. fight with the Yakuza guy and the yeah, and, like there's some great moments, yeah. but like they they changed the dynamic of the predators, like the way they introduced like that other subspecies, and it got 
<laughs> they made it really dumb, and I'm just like, ah. It, I will say, though, if you look at that, if you take that as like, okay, let's compare it to Alien versus Predator. I'm like, oh, God, thank God for well, Predators. But yeah. the, then you compare it even to, like, Predator 2, and you're like, oh, this is bullshit. But yeah, because Predator 2 was freaking great. But at least it's neat. Oh. I, I just wish they would have done, like, they were going to bring back Dutch, Dutch Schaefer for a scene, uh, the Arnold character. That would have been cool for Predators. But they, you know, I don't know what happened. It just that, that would be cool, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's all just leading up to Dutch Schaefer and Lin Kurosawa in the Alien vs. Predator arcade adaptation. <laughs> Shit, watch that. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my favorite AVP thing. Bring back Jamaican like, Voodoo Gangs for Predator 2. <laughs> No, God, and, yeah, and like, even back that like then it was dumb, but now it's like that's actually fine. God, even you know? even the plot like, that, just... that Predator Xbox game was better than like the Predator plot. Where like it's a like, requiem. Yeah, where like the Predator has to go around murdering street gangs that had found Predator tech. Oh, <laughs> you mean Predator a Concrete Jungle? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. You know who has my old copy of that is Genovi. I don't think he ever like played it or or checked it out because Genovi bought a bunch of games for me one year. And uh, it's like, oh, no, I just still have them in the box. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. I have uh, I have all those Famicom games you sent me, and I still love the hell out of them. I'm glad you do. I guess I haven't had time. Like, I have the time to really sit down and play them, because they're, they're, they require a lot more time and energy, because they're <laughs> completely in Japanese. You should see, um, I know I gave the hell a bunch of Famicom games. There's a few good ones in there, too. Mm-hmm. You guys should um, cart swap. Uh, we, uh, remember, I think you, you were there when we actually, because I brought him out to him, and we, uh... Oh, I remember, yeah. And I, I gave him all the copies, like, the, the copies he wanted. Yeah, well, like, like last time I gave him, like, the rest of my loose carts, and, uh, I think I gave, I gave you that Saturn gun, so... Oh, yeah, that was, that was freaking great. Yeah, I know, uh, Jer- uh, Jeremy... Oh, Shane Black, yes. Jeremy had sent me this, like, crazy oh. third-party one that's, like, a Walther PPK. And it has, like, a battery-powered recoil in it and stuff like that. And I'm like, this gun's freaking great. Oh, that's awesome. It is. It is really nice. And it has, like, uh, different settings on it where it does, like, auto-reload for you. So you can just be lazy with doing, like, light gun games on it. <laughs> it's been great. I'm like, this is so easy. And the, tri- and the trigger pull is, like, a, it's like a straight pull, like, on, like, a 1911. So it's not, like, your typical light gun trigger. That's awesome. Would you say it's better than the arcade games with, like, the, the fucking recoil? Um, or is it about the same? No, I wouldn't say it's, it's not better than that, but it's because uh, like Time Crisis, I think, has the definitive recoil. It has type, some uh, awesome recoil. Yeah, that's like the definitive freaking like pistol recoil game. I'm lo- I'm just reading this chat over here real quick. Robot, oh, yeah. uh, Robocop versus Terminator should have been a movie back in the '90s. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, but that would have been it would have made sense, but it would have been like you know better than fanfic. Even though it would be fanfic, but what is this thing about autism being a superpower? Oh, that so want to steal? What, is that, what the pre- is that what the Predators is pretty much like it's like the final no. nail in the Predator the Predator franchise because it brings in this thing oh. where, like in the show in the movie, like the Predators they're not they're not seeing Predators anymore. They're they're actually going out and harvesting different alien DNA and then putting it into their bodies to make themselves superior. But it's like no, that's not what Predators were about, man. They were about like. Challenging themselves to to take out the no, ultimate it prey. Was, yeah, it wasn't about augmenting themselves. So they kind of like lost touch with that, and so they they introduced that whole thing. And so like these, uh, so humans with autism for whatever reason could tap into certain aspects of the predator, the predator psyche and stuff like that, and access gear and equipment. And it was oh, like this shit. is really odd. Don't. D- Oh god! Do predators have like My Little Pony dolls and shit? And they're nope, they're, 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 all, they're all bronies. <laughs> they're all bronies now. They like playing Sonic the Hedgehog two or something. I, I, what the I, fuck's going on? I I don't know. It's... Are they jerking off to Rouge the Bat? Oh go oh god! <laughs> That's this is what happens. <laughs> but you know, speaking of Rouge That's, the Bat, that though, sounds I, like I a, am... that sounds ridiculous. Yeah. I love an antique. Just saying. Yeah, the, uh, the 1911 is a very, it's not a, in terms of accuracy, it's not a great pistol, but it has a very good ergonomic feel to it. I'll give it that. <laughs> Historic Nerd Discord, check it out. All right, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, go there and join us here. We not, you down in my Discord? Uh, I, I got we were, rid of it, I thought. I thought we were friends. I, I got Skype, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess we are on Skype. I got together. Skype, man. 
I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, I need a better way to contact you when I stream. Because I'm like, how do I bug you no matter where you are? <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Seven Beetle of Doom asks if you saw the Predator alternate ending that introduced a recast Ripley. What? What? No, I hadn't seen that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that, uh, I'll have to go bust out my The Predator Blu ray and check out the special features and see if I can find that. It's 2020. We're all jerking off to Rouge the Bat. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I didn't want to say it. But no, but speaking of that, like Rouge, that's a, one of the Sonic characters, right? That's the Sonic Bat chick who's like, yeah. This. Yeah, Sonic yeah. Avenger. But uh, like, speak, so if you get the Sonic thing, like I've been debating about whether or not I want to drag my two-year-old daughter to the Sonic movie because she's like really into Sonic. I don't know how that happened because I'm like, we don't really, I don't really play Sonic that often, but I have like the Sonic Mania statue in my office, and my my daughter just loves it. Oh no! And so Are I'm you prepared to accept the responsibility of potentially ruining somebody's life? Well, I mean, like, it's gonna be... It's Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. I mean, like, what are they really expecting out of their cinematic experience? If they want to make money, they're gonna appeal to the DeviantArt crowd. Oh. And you know what that means. Hmm. Sonic is gonna eat Jim Carrey at the end of the movie. Uh, and no, there's like... gonna be a scene of Jim Carrey in Sonic's stomach. <laughs> it's gonna be, like, DeviantArt the movie. Yeah. If they uh... want to make money... Yeah, I figure uh, Gabber probably going to go for another, maybe over a half hour, we'll see. It'll already be going for about two and a half. Okay. But I don't know, I'm just debating about whether or not I want to take my daughter to the movie in theaters or not, just for fun. To see if she, I to think see it, how I long think she could handle it. All, all dumb jokes aside, I think it'd be a fun, fun, fun time for you guys. Yeah, I don't know, it's just weird, because my, my daughter just like is into Sonic, so it's just kind of funny. You just uh, better make sure that you have good web parent controls. When she finally starts going on the, on the internet. Oh, I'm gonna... Holy crap, I am gonna... Filter that shit out of that internet. I'm gonna lock the crap out of that, knowing all Parental the Parental lockdown. I'm gonna... Here's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna type in on DuckDuckGo, because that's the... That's the best one. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. <laughs> she she t sure to say, I was into Sonic before it was cool. <laughs> But it's going to be like, images. my daughter's going to be like, I was into Sonic after it was cool. <laughs> no, after, no, when it stopped being cool. <laughs> okay. So far, I'm not getting porn on DuckDuckGo. Mm. That's amazing. No, but like my uh, my brother, he's uh, he does a lot of foster parenting stuff. And like some of the kids, he, uh, he gets oh, occasionally okay. have uh, like emotional issues, stuff like that. So they, they try, like the kids will try and do all kinds of like weird crap on the internet. So my brother is pretty tech savvy in terms of like locking out their tablets and stuff and preventing them from doing something their app so i'm like i'm definitely gonna go and hit him up for some of his advice on how to prevent her in the future from accessing stuff but she's only two years old so i don't gotta worry about her doing inter internet stuff until she's at least like in like i would say like maybe fifth grade i don't know we'll see that is that is so, very different from the norm yeah i the, just hope that she's not like well, all my friends over here in preschool get to go on the internet. Yeah, and all, get the all, porn my, all my, all my, all that shit. All my Why friends and all my friends in preschool have smartphones with access to these things. I'm like, my god, no! I'll tell you what. I looked up Sonic the Hedgehog, and the second page, I've got one of the fucking Archie comics characters fucking. <laughs> I've got Sonic tongue kissing with Rainbow Dash. Oh dear God. Um, what else do I have? I have a, I have a, I'm not going to click on this comic, but it looks like Sonic has a little uh, human penis. And he's fucking Amy Rose. And uh, on the very end of this page, Amy Rose has a dick, and she's fucking Sonic in the ass. And he's got harsh in his eyes. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I do not want to fucking, like, uh, I would not want to have a kid going on the internet. Yeah, uh, in this day and age, it's uh, terrifying. But uh, I'll have to cross that road when I get to it later. Yeah. Or you just move to the Amish country. <laughs> oh, I'm Amish now. Congratulations. We're uh. Yeah, what here. if you had a YouTube channel called The Amish Gamer? <laughs> just like ah, uh, these are. Uh, hey there, my name is Jebediah. I'm gonna show you my uh, my wood black collection. Yeah. What if you had a a, a fucking jaguar made of all wood components? <laughs> I, I've figured out the art of Somehow. passing electrons via wood pathogens. 
Yep. There's some fibers sort of, from some sort of, some sort of hey, weird tool. What are you doing, man? Fuck Google Plus. Two it all sounds on, Two year olds are on Tinder already? Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yeah, that's disturbing. Shit, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look up, up Galeans vs. Predator and see what kind of images pop up. Did you say Galeans vs. Predator? Uh, no. <laughs> Alien I, heard, I swear to God, I heard Galeans. Just that I'm like, what? What is Galeans? I think it's Freudian slip on your part. <laughs> oh, bro. maybe. Maybe it is. Yeah, it be crazy. Let's see. Isn't the Jaguar already it's made of... <laughs> it's got to be. All right. Now see how long it takes till I get to Alien vs. Predator porn. Oh, these are some badass-looking images. <laughs> Aliens vs. Predator and Half-Life. <laughs> Gabber just said he said Galeans. You, you did say Galeans. I did not say Galeans. <laughs> Gabber says he did. Freudian slip. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you drinking it all the night or no? I've been drinking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's why we're friends. That's why. That's exactly. <laughs> Gabber and Galeans are... Uh, I've gone through several pages of this, and there's all just badass pictures. That badass, more, way more badass than that fucking movie. Oh yeah, of aliens versus predator. I mean, um, like, uh, uh, I, I, at the time, I really enjoyed Alien vs. Predator just because it was a, uh, no, it was like the only alien slash predator content we'd had in like ten years. It would, you were desperate. Yeah, just like you're just like, like running running through hood rats. At the time, I thought I loved her, but then I realized she was just a ST infected hoe. <laughs> just look up Galia for Predator now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> porn on the first page for that. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. Galians versus uh, sexual predators. <laughs> oh, no. You're one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> you <the> fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Anytime. Oh, God. <laughs> I ain't got time to come. <laughs> oh, no. God damn God. <laughs> you know what? Zero porn for Alien vs. Predator. Wow. <laughs> My God. This house shows how fucked up Sonic is. <laughs> Look up Crowfinger. Oh no! Crap, look up Crowfinger. Thank God oh, it's no. on DuckDuckGo. That way my employer won't find out about or this. Your, uh, or YouTube will start rec or Google will start recommending things to you. Oh God! Yeah, Google will. That's, that's why I don't do like uh, I don't look up gameplay on Google anymore. Crowfinger. Uh, yeah, my uh, so my my Google think like uh, there's so many like weird little random YouTube kids channels that like I put on once in a while, I like to placate my daughter when I'm like, no, nah, I just I just want to like not deal with you right now for a minute so i put on like a random baby video and so like my youtube algorithm is like recommending me all this random garbage yeah i that's why i'm, I'm, I'm i hate why i kind of hate google that's why dr goes better and also you can like once you start seeing things like oh fuck hit that fire button immediately and like okay all of it's deleted i can <laughs> i can rest assured all right i looked at crow finger there's a lot of weird pictures but there is a picture of a girl giving the middle finger and putting a middle finger in her butt. So, oh, at least okay. there's some. Okay. Mostly, uh, mostly just pictures of birds. Very pleasant. Oh my god. Of course, I'm gonna dick in the middle finger. And a picture of uh, Jack Nicholson looking like uh, Jack Nicholson. All right. Well, I don't know what that's all about, but. Salad fingers erotica. <laughs> oh my god! Fancy meeting you here. Oh, I like it when the red water comes out. I used to love some fucking salad fingers. Mm. <laughs> but a slack John Gailey? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, the more, that's more acceptable than the original. <laughs> Bunch of slack John Gailians. <laughs> I want, to, I want to see that really low budget film based on the uh, Galeon vs. Brothers. Galeon vs. Dude, I'm sure there's. You know, I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> Galeon vs. Sexual Predators. <laughs> How are you liking the game, by the way? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm at that point is right now better? where, like, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad game. I find, like, the thing that kind of disappoints me about it is, like, the shooting is, is very. 
the aliens lock onto you and you kite them away and just kill them. So it's not like it's not like an action shooter like Doom or anything like that. So it doesn't have that going for it. I will say and, that every time I see this game, it looks like you're doing the exact same thing. Yeah, it's very much just a hallway crawler. Like, you're just going, got to find the keys to open the doors, and you have to remember where the freaking doors are that you're looking for, where you have the key. And it's it's just, it's... one th- Like, another thing that makes it really interesting, is like, where Doom was very... Doom was rather contained, where you wouldn't get lost in the mazes you were in. Where this game is just, it's very immense, so you get lost very easily in terms of what you're looking for. Everything kind of ends up looking the same, yeah, too, huh? Yeah. It's a, and, and the funny thing is, like, oh. this game, this copy of I bought has, like, whoever played this game played it pretty aggressively before. Because, like, there are just, like, sheets of freaking graph paper in there that map out stuff. So oh, I'm like, man. man, this guy was serious. He, he, like, was like, I got tricked into buying a Jaguar and Aliens vs. Predator. I'm going all the way. We started this. We're going to finish this. Is anyone really tricked into playing Jaguar? They were they were two hundred and fifty bucks in ninety three, so like way cheaper than a Sega CD or any of that. So you're like, yeah, my kids are gonna love me. Oh god. Oh, anyway, yeah, I, I looked up Galians vs Predator. There's nothing that's like related to porn. It's still like badass pictures. I need to. Uh, there guess, is a uh, picture that looked like it might have been a predator making out with an alien, but he's crushing the alien's face. The, so. Yeah. I like how Damn. so I guess found some aliens and they're trapped behind the uh, trapped behind a bunch of tables and chairs. So apparently, I've well, maybe they're weakness. maybe they're just inviting you over. Oh man, thanks, Jeremy. That's awesome. Yeah, the package arrives on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, right, get more yeah. packages. Damn, yeah. son. Look up My Little Pony. I know better to look up My Little Pony. Have you uh, you ever watched uh, in do you have Netflix in Japan or now? Um, there is Netflix. I mean, it's a little bit different from the U.S. Mm-hmm. one, obviously, but I don't have it. But I was thinking about getting it. Oh, okay. just to watch Sip Bell's thing. I mean, you're still uh, you're still in Boise, man. I know I'm in your Discord. I don't drop by that often. I should probably go in there and check it out. Emerald yeah, like, Lane. Let's go bowling or something like that. Yep, bowling for Columbine. Oh yeah, remember that uh that movie? The Windows 95 3D Maze screensaver has more thrilling level design. Oh God. <laughs> I think the uh, the Excel Excel ninety seven flight sim had, was more compelling than that fucking. Mm. Where did you learn to fly? I'm trying to remember if I've ever been to Elmer Lane. So the game was not that bad. It used to be uh, what's the uh, what's the bowling alley by the uh, the fairgrounds? That was always my favorite because they uh, it was way easier to bring beer to your lane there than most of the other ones. Called pinheads. I want a pinhead. That is Westies. Of Westies. Of Westies. There we go. Westies. Westies. That's the one I'm thinking of. Because I, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bowl like, unless I'm like a pitcher deep. That's the only way I can bowl. That's why. That's why Bud Light is so popular in bowling alleys, man. Yeah. So, like, as you'll see here in a sec, like the game, like whenever you find an alien, like it's always like the aliens lock onto you and you just kite them away and then shoot them to death. It's just kind of how the game works. I see. Yeah. So it's not you like, kind of have to be like, don't kill him in the hallway. So, yeah, so I think in 93, this would have been... The, the only thing is like, if you kill him in a tight, like a tight hallway like that, you have to walk over it yeah. and get hurt. So it's kind of like, uh, it's just one of those things. But, I mean, in 93, this was probably a pretty innovative play in terms of what it offered, but it's just kind of... Now it's just kind of very tedious. So it didn't age well in that regard, but... Yeah. I'm also very, rather inebriated when I play this game. That probably impacts my gameplay experience a bit. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, Chris Homsky says, uh, Huminsky says, uh, we need to capitalize on Galeons vs. Predator. Oh, we will. Next Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I'm sure Yahel will be a very willing participant. <laughs> well, I know, uh, we actually need to stream at the next one. Like, I, I brought all the equipment, and then everyone's like, yeah, oh, we're too tired. I'm like, you guys suck. <laughs> or, no, it was, uh, I, no, I was it was, uh, Yahel forgot the power cord to the CDI. Oh, no, no. <laughs> conveniently forgot the power cord to the only thing that gives him meaning in his life i think it's conspiracy he just didn't want to be embarrassed in front of bob he didn't he didn't want to show bob that his like because the cdi act only goes so far right like he doesn't like the cdi nobody does but like uh, he had like a, a respectable person around and he was like I, I can't fucking do it anymore you know he, he he's like an andy kaufman type guy right mm-hmm 
He's just playing with us. So Rex says, uh, no, this game was seen as lazy when it came out. Oh, okay. I hadn't heard that. I, I, oh, most of the stuff I had read about when this game came out was like, oh my god, this game's amazing. Well, let me take a look at my 1998 EGM Buyer's Guide. Ooh, yeah, yeah. They have reviews for Jaguar at the end of the thing. Yeah, see, uh, see what it says for... All right. Why is N64 Saturn... Oh, these are tricks and codes. Fuck you. Ain't nobody need those tricks and codes. Resident Evil 2 had not even been released yet. That's amazing. All right. Yeah, so like, uh, Warrior, I, I, I have to say, that. like, the... I don't know, the Adverse Predator, I find that the... Alien mode is playable. The Predator mode is barely playable. <laughs> EGM gave Alien vs. Predator a 6, a 7, a 5, and a 5. Wow. Oh, okay. wow. They didn't give it very good scores. They, and they gave the fucking Jaguar system all 7s. Um, Baldi's got rave reviews. 9, 8, 8.5, 8.5. Do you know what Baldi's is? Not a clue. The puzzle game with fat little bald guys running about. That's their little blurb about it. What a fuck. Um, Cybermorph that you were playing earlier. 6545. That's, that's fair. I think we're Doom 6777. Eh, I don't know. Double Dragon 5. I didn't know that was even released for Jaguar. Yeah, no, they the are. Fighting, the fighting game one. Oh. 864.55. Holy shit. Uh, Wolfenstein 3D got better scores than Doom. Oh, wow. Is, uh, wait, Spoonie still streaming? Dude, go tell him one, one but not forgotten. Get banned from his stream immediately. Oh my god, he's talk he he's actually talking. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm really, uh, I don't know, it's been really weird. Like, Spoonie's been... He's been very... What's the word I'm looking for? Um... He's had the worst yeah. luck ever. Yeah, like, uh, I know his girlfriend just laughed him and all that, but then again, the guy had been milking his Patreons for a while. But, yeah, Spoonies. Spoonies. Uh, but, he, but, like, it was like he he had actually turned off commentary in his, uh. He turned off commentary uh, in his live streams? Yeah, all he's, oh, really? he's just, always been, like, he's, like, live stream a ton this year. He just, he's like, I gotta get that money. I gotta get them super chats. Well, yeah, he's gotta get that money so he can save his house. Cause I know he's going uh, getting uh, yeah evicted. Oh, he died. Oh, shit, the predator was fucking slicing you up. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Spoonie looks really greasy. Like, <laughs> put that one out there. I've not seen him in a while, but yeah, pale hair, long hair, looks rough. If I wasn't playing Jaguar, I would really like body so fat. I, if Ooh. only I, if only I knew he was live streaming, I would have just streamed his stream and just made commentary on the stream. <laughs> <I've been> streaming. <laughs> That's what I would have done. You would have been kicked off of YouTube for bullying, though. Is that what? The, oh, would that do that? So you're like, oh, you're bullying. If you make any sort of like not nice comment about anybody, mm. bullying. I think they're doing that, I guess. Sure. Like if you told. Um, like who, who's a real fat person in today's uh, Hollywood atmosphere? Sean Good. Yeah. He's dead though. Oh, no, well, if you said John Goodman, 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 Goodman. Goodman is so dead, that might be bullying though. What? How's he dead? I don't know. John Good. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of John Candy. Well, like, like, <laughs> just, like, like just, John Goodman is so fucking hot. God, I love that guy. Did you? You, you watch Community, right? No, no, I, I don't watch Community. I thought, I thought you made a joke about the Darkest Timeline before, though. Like, you made a Community reference. I did. Um, but, you know, just coincidence. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. No, I mean, I, I, I know a little bit about Community, but I, I unfortunately, I don't have the, the means to, to watch it. It's uh, kind of okay. like a... It's kind of like, what is it? Um, What is that fucking Amy Poehler... show? Uh, no. Parks and Recreation. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, all, all those, all those shows. Like they're like, oh yeah. If I if I had uh, the means to watch them, I'd probably put them on. Hmm. They so don't like, have an arc for like five seasons. Yeah, you, you, like, you, you can just do like uh, like Hulu, just VPN to North America, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. 
Or I could just go back to torrenting. <laughs> or, or, yeah, or you could, you know, do it the easy way and just torrent it. I love how, like, the Predator and the uh, the Marines are like, Oh, whatever. Kill the... Ah, God. Oh, my God. Are they, like, teaming up on you? Yeah, kind of, basically. You are the most, like, fucking alien-looking thing, though, so... Like, I don't know, that guy, he's got knives on his arm, but, you know, I trust him way more than the thing with, you know, blade fingers. I know, right? What should I, I say to get banned by Spoonie? Um, be like, hey, I bet you could pay your rent if you just, you know, made regular video content. That'll get you banned, apparently. Yeah. Then, no, uh, honestly, honestly, hashtag won, but not forgotten. That's, that's all you have to do. That, yeah, that one would probably get you banned based on that whole thing. Or, do you remember when your brother killed a Mexican? Ooh. That gets him. That's that's what that's about. Well, I mean, it's, yeah, that's a. And I feel like that one's kind of really shitty. <laughs> in terms oh, of the is. stuff you can oh, sound like, oh, yeah. It is. Yeah. Oh, it is. But it would definitely, it would definitely get him. His brother was a cop and all that, but yeah. I'm just saying, if you really want to get, yeah, banned, if you really want to get banned, that's, <laughs> that's what you yeah. put in there. You know, I'm not saying yeah. do it. <laughs> I right, catch you later, Gabber. Thanks for hanging out, man. Always good to see you. All right, take it easy. That's what the predator for. Yeah, it is like soon, so I don't know if he's gonna be gone yet. Yeah, I don't know. All the only thing is about Spoonie is like, you know, it, it's easy to make fun of him. It's all easy to like it's like, oh well, he brought it on himself. But at the end of the day, he is a human being, and wish him all the best. Hope he gets his fucking shit together. Yeah, I, still guess, I guess I wanted to start making content bit. again because I think I love that guy's content. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's a mental thing. Maybe it's just a lazy thing. Same. I don't know. So here's here's what I hate. Like so, like the when you play the predator, and you try to kill marines, it's doesn't... it doesn't really work. So I'm like I'm like gauntleting this guy, and he can shoot the crap out of me, and I can't gauntlet him. It's just really annoying. That is stupid. Cause like one yeah. slash. That's like at least like with that alien versus predator or alien versus predator requiem, I think it was called. Like the fucking predator was like pretty badass. I mean, you die quickly for mm -hmm. some reason, but like you just stab people in the fucking chest. It's like, oh, they're dead. You, you have to like earn that kill, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. <laughs> the odds was all mine, the predator. That's so I cannot fucking believe that. That's the, the plot of fucking the predator. It's pretty bad. I didn't hear that in any reviews I read. Hey, later, Gamer. Spoonie and Market Corner. Oh, God, I, yeah. Freaking, like, Spoonie, when he did the Phantasmagoria review, just, like, exploded because he was, like, the only guy doing that. I just bought a new dress. I hope people will see me as a MILF. Well, if you are a MILF, people will. <laughs> where, where did you see that? That's a chat from Slayer's Mom. <laughs> Slayer's mom. It's like, okay, Slayer's well, if you mom. are a milf, people will see you as a milf. Yeah, that'll work out well for you. Maybe if you lose the dress, though, they might see you as a milf more. Oh, yeah, quarter your son's friends, random places. Mm. Oh, you're right back. <laughs> Spoonie Spoonie ignored me. Ah. Those, uh, I don't like, like. I would just love for Spoonie to come back and start making random, like, regular content like he used to, do, like the uh, Chris Brown, or Red Brown reviews, all that stuff. Uh, got his film reviews were pretty great back in the day. Okay, so apparently, if you run at him and then hit him while you're doing it, it's kind of weird. They left me in the dress. I'm gonna like this later. Oh, uh, funny. Yeah, I guess the predator. Like, God, it's so odd the way this mechanics on this work. Oh, it's the uh, the Spoonie Experiment is the uh, the name of the channel, and he, he's been on YouTube since like 2006 or something like that. But it's one of those channels where, like, the guy had a lot of potential, a lot of, uh, was definitely, 
like top uh, top tier in terms of quality stuff like that. If you watch his older stuff, it's pretty decent. He's kind of like this whole thing where like he set up a Patreon several years ago and just ended up not doing anything and just like kind of wrote like he's making like five grand a month from Patreon and didn't do anything. So he just lived off his fans for the last like four years. Like didn't hasn't even made a video in that amount of time. He's made like he's done some live streams and that's it. Random scientists. Oh, med okay. So you get med kits for the predator from scientists. Interesting. God, this freaking map. Like I hate the texture that shows for the wall. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking around the small intestines of somebody. Wait. Spoonie almost got on Jimmy Fallon. I didn't. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know Spoonie almost got on Jimmy Fallon. I'd never heard that story before. Oh my goodness! I am not familiar with that tale. So, uh, you were planning on streaming the night? You were thinking? I was gonna. I was like, oh, you know what? Let's see if uh, Ian's streaming. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're like, oh, thank God I don't have to. I don't know, your streams are, uh, I feel like when you stream, you get pretty popular. Like, you get, like, usually, like, a steady, like, 50-plus people on your stream when you do it. People are, are curious, and they're like, oh, this is stupid. I'm out. They're like, ah, that gay. Yeah, that's fun. I, I like having good people on, you know? So, Ian, like, when you can't stream, mm -hmm. like, or you can't join for the stream, I'm like, ah, I don't want to fucking stream. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's always kind of hard. Like, whenever I stream now, I'm like, it's... I always, like, put a thing in the chat. I'm like, hey, anybody in there that want to join me for a stream? Or... And then, uh... And then it's always, like, trying to find somebody. And it was like, ah, oh, I got... I got... A bowel movement coming along. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't it's, join you. I mean, it's... Uh, it can be hard to try and entertain a chat for by yourself, stuff like that at times. Yeah, and, like, it's hard to pay attention to chat, too, when you want to. Uh -huh. Um... Just because it's just, like... If you try to concentrate on the game, like what do you do? It's a hard, uh, <laughs> it's a hard fucking balancing act. I, I just remember like uh, I was like streaming some PC games one time when I was playing a uh, Rome Total War, and like I think it's more like more like Rome Total War, and I'm like, oh, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh, Did you man. get emotional? You're no, like, oh, no, no, that's fine. I think oh, I think you were there hanging out with me, but I remember watching you play Rome. Yeah, but it's once. it's one of those games where like I played it enough to where like I know I know how to completely break it. So it's mm -hmm. just not fun for people to watch. If that makes sense. Yeah, well, yeah. I think it's more fun that way. Yeah. At least, at least for what you're doing, I think people are fine with it. Uh, text next. You know what? Uh, once in a while, I'll stream the Saturn. You know what? Ian streams the Saturn too, but he's only there to like, because he was hurt by the Saturn when he was young. He's just there to insult the Saturn. Deep down, he knows that was the love of his life, and he lost it. Uh, wait, I got Last stream, I played a couple of Saturn games. I don't know. I don't remember what I fucking played. I played. I beat uh, Street Fighter Zero Two, and I beat it. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I was. I, I had like ten or eleven beers at that point. Got, I was like, you got I don't know. so drunk. I don't know. Yeah, I think I died like once or twice, and I somehow I beat Street Fighter Zero Two. I, mean, I was. I almost beat it with Dan, and I don't even like Street Fighter Zero Two. He just. It's just like at that point, I think like muscle memory kicks in. And like, yeah, I know how to do these moves. <laughs> it's like, uh, but it was good fun. God, I really, I, mean, I, think I really hate the Predator. Man. Like best. the way they, the way this game freaking works. It's just... so, it's so terrible. I just watched you. Yeah, this, what the fuck? Well, it's even more annoying because like you have your shoulder can and all that stuff, and you can't do anything with it. I am 33. So, oldish. <laughs> oh, Unico knew it like immediately. He's like, he's 33. <laughs> I think this has come up several times. Oldish. Yeah. Yeah. AVP 2 is the only good 3D AVP game. I mean, the old PC one. Oh, man. Even, Legendary. Even though, even though, like, you say that, but, like, AVP 1, though, even, like, the multiplayer was so good. 
Yeah, it's good stuff. I still remember that game too. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I love like the kind of the funny thing was Ian uh... is not yet a MILF. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yeah, sorry. <laughs> Why do I hang out with all these kids? Because uh, I'm funny. I don't know. Dixon. Dixon, you're not that old. I don't I don't think. I think it's how old is it? Forty three? How old is Dixon? Yeah. You're younger than you hell. Forty three is like young. 80. <laughs> Uh, you, you had like fucking 50 or something like that hmm. well, remember I used to work at a government agency I was like uh, and they're like god you're so young I'm like I'm 30 <laughs> like how is that young <laughs> okay. well you're uh, one person in this is uh, Chris Chris is saying that oh I don't know you'd be so old he's 30 <laughs> well blink an eye you're gonna be 35 so. <laughs> just saying oh uh, yeah Those, those years go by quick. I feel like the 30s go by very quickly. Hmm. Well, I remember, like, uh, the funny thing I still think I, I, I still like, think I'm, like, I, 25, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm in my 30s. God damn. It was funny for me, like, uh, like I've always felt old just because, like, I joined the Army when I was, like, 26. And, like, most oh, people wow. most people join the Army when they're, like, in their, like 18 and stuff like that. So I'm, yeah. like, this 26-year-old yeah, guy, I'm, like, in, <laughs> in basic training with them, they're, like, my God, you're so old, and all these kids are like, right? They're like talking about Bloodhound Gang. I'm like, yeah, you were I'm like, you were four years old when that came out. <laughs> so I'm just talking about that. It's just like, uh, it's funny stuff like that. True, that's funny. I almost joined uh, the military when I was like around my mid twenties. I don't know mm. there was like a, a, I think was it 35 is the limit. Uh, yeah, it was for a long time, but they've uh, now since, they're like whatever. They've whoever. kind of changed it because the economy's too good, and they're just hurting for people so you can get waivers like there's a guy who apparently is going to army basic at like 59 or something like that ridiculous what but to be fair the guy's in like psychotically good shape <laughs> he's like yeah <laughs> so it's like really okay yeah, it, everyone, enjoy, like, enjoy basic yeah, training for three months and just suffer but yeah dude man the years start coming they don't stop coming yep by buying Atari 2600 games at TG at Y. Let's try it pretty one more time. It is. Yeah, go, go for it, man. What's the last game you have for um, the, the Jag that you haven't played yet? Uh, we have Syndicate. We can check that one out. I, I don't have an okay. overlay or a manual, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's that, check I know out. that game was like legendary on 3DO, but... Yeah. God, I, God, the, uh, I, feel, I feel so paranoid trying to get the overlays out of the freaking Jaguar controller. Like, I'm going to break the damn thing. You know, like, just, like, it's going to be so brittle. Rip the, rip the tabs out so they don't work. I'm like, no! No, why? <laughs> yeah. Like, no, not my mint Jaguar game. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Let's see. The 30s pass very quickly if you're miserable. Well, hmm. that explains it, Rex. And also Dixon, his, he was went quick because he was in the uh, Navy for all yeah, 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can he, imagine. Being enlisted in the Navy, I can see how that's awful. And you're thinking like, what did I do in, in that time? Ah, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Inigo, my Fortis is almost here and it sucks. Yeah, well, you know what though? At least like, you know, all the shitty things like people talk about, oh, you know, like nowadays everything sucks and blah, blah, blah. But at least like you know, they always shift the goalposts. It's like, oh, 50s are the new 30s. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? Like, back then it was like, you're going to... you're base Everything was basically determined for you. Like, you do this, you, you live this lifestyle, and then you die. Nowadays, it's like, oh, man, you're 30... You're like 38 or whatever the fuck. That's kind of hot, you know? You, you've got an experience and everything. Unless you're... I don't know. Searching for fucking Sonic the Hedgehog shit on... On DuckDuckGo <laughs> during a Stark Nerd stream. But, uh, yeah. Uh... I ain't 38 yet, though. Thank God. Oh, uh, what? It'll be a while. Uh, It'll is, be a while. Is Syndicate a bullfrog, man? What's that? Oh, it is a bullfrog, yeah. Yeah. Who to what game? Syndicate. It's a bullfrog title. I don't understand what those words mean. Bull bullfrog, the game creature. A bullfrog. Okay, bullfrog, sorry. I thought, you said, yeah. I thought you said Voltron, like, bu <laughs> bull like a Japanese person trying to say Voltron. <laughs> sorry. Ah, uh, the uh, Voltron game. Yeah, bullfrog. Bu what? Bu Voltron. Yeah, what? That's why it's a little froggy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Gorilla Jones, fuck all you young assholes. I'll curse you from your grave. <laughs> uh, please do. Bring it. Press F for Bullfrog. Well, F pressed. Nothing happened. Damn. Inigo says that he should do like, some Jaguar games. Well, if you, if you got extra get Jaguar games and you don't have any, yeah, other... yeah. If you want to, if you want to donate them and watch me play them work? poorly, you're more than welcome to do so. Let's see. I work at Western Trailers Building. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where is that? Desperate Housewives cast were older than Sex and the City because they look forty times yeah. hotter. Yes, seven feet over. Yes. You had Terry Hatcher. You had uh, Eva Longoria. Oh yeah, yeah. Some guys, other chicks. Guys I remember, uh, I guess, yeah, Terry Hatcher was always like crazy hot, just because when I, I first saw her it was in like the, uh, the the new adventures of Lewis and Clark. Yep. <laughs> hot, hot up Dave from Spoonie. He made fourteen dollars Canadian. Hell yeah! Oh, okay, I gotta look this up now. I can't. Hey, I'm leaving. Sorry, I want to be streaming with uh, Spoonie. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna join the join him with those. Uh, oh, tri on Gallon Road. Okay. Oh, wait. Hey, actually, uh, yeah, Google. You actually don't work too uh, too far from me, man. Cause I actually work on Gallon Field. The Spoonie experiment. Noah Antweiler. He just changed his regular name. Oh, his channel. Yeah. Oh wow. He's live wire Middle Earth Shadow War. Six people watching. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, it says 213 people watching, I think, is what it says on my phone. Mine says 11 watching. No. Oh, gross. I'm going to click in here. Okay, I would like to start the mission. Okay. Maybe, okay. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Well. Well, I don't know what to say about that. I think he just ended the stream. Oh, I must have gotcha. God, he only streamed for like an hour. Well, that's mm. it's pretty sad. <laughs> the Spoonie experiment. Oh no! Oh, okay, can't look at this channel anymore. Got his, uh, got his, his ultimate review was just fantastic. Yeah, this. Oh, what the fuck happened, okay, man? So, yeah, yeah. You think your hell's gonna be like spooning in a couple of years? Nah. I don't know. Maybe. Once he starts saying about the, uh, this is gonna be the uh, the CDI the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 I just want to thank, I just want to thank you guys for the five thousand dollars a month, and uh, well, you know, I'm gonna get off social media, stop texting as much, and make sure I, I uh, make that CDI movie the the game. <laughs> you know what though? Like, you know, at least uh, Yahel's girlfriend is not a crazy bitch, so mm, he's, he's already he's already in good fit. But if he, he dumps Laney. And starts dating some crazy chick in Seattle. Oh god, this is funny. Oh god, this is real time. It's not turn based. Oh Jesus, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Oh, no. Oh. I didn't realize that this uh, syndicate was like this. Jesus. Oh, god, this looks yeah. this, is, this looks like a, like a, a SNES version of Fallout. Uh, I don't even I don't even know how to make this guy shoot. He has a pistol apparently, so I'm being chased. But I've I've deselected him, so I don't I don't know how to make him not die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Spoonie looks bored. Oh, he's got to go to work on that Spoonie movie. Yeah, Spoonie yeah. looks like he's the most bored person. Like you know how people always say, like, oh, you know, ABGN, like he's bored. <laughs> Avatar, his life. Avatar four will be coming out before. Uh... Fuck. Oh, okay. Twenty sixty five. You get five k a month. Yeah. All I got was a beer helmet for X. I no, I don't get that. That's the Spoonie. That was that was the steel days of Spoonie. Of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make a movie, guys. I'm gonna go on social media. I'm gonna make a movie. It's gonna be great. And how do I make him assassinate? Assassinate. Do it. You know what he did instead of getting off social media? Didn't he make like a social media account for his dog? Yeah, yeah, for his dog. Yeah. Huh. Oh, God damn. 
That is insane. The historic nerd might get 5k a month from his real job. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But my, re my real job pays pretty good. So, no, really, yeah. no concerns there. I was really happy I got a shot from, uh... I went out to the, uh, we have this, like, big-ass training range at night, and I was sitting out there freezing my ass off, but I got this great shot of, uh, an A-10 that, like, strafed, like, over my head. It was, like, maybe, like, 50 feet above me. It was just awesome. You were saying that yesterday, yeah. That's... Yeah, I was so happy with that. It's pretty cute. Yeah, pretty fun. Mm -hmm. You get to edit videos, too, right? Oh, yeah. I, I, I was gonna, gonna, like, I managed to finagle the fact. Like, Living the dream. Finagle, make, because, like, I'm, like... Because video editing and like photo editing is not a common skill in the army, so I got a finagle of that into like this position with the guards. So I'm loving the hell out of it. But yeah. Um, it's like also, I'd like to stream America's Army. <laughs> <laughs> stream that one. All right. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably call it a night. We've already been streaming for over three hours, but All so right. I definitely want to thank everybody for dropping by and hanging out as long as you have and. Appreciate you guys donating and all that stuff. And hope you guys enjoyed the stream, but I'll probably catch you guys later. So you guys have a fantastic day, evening, and night, or whatever you're doing. All right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, and also, if you don't know who Jimmy Hoppa is, feel free to go check out his channel. It's fantastic. He is pretty freaking awesome. So, yeah. But all right. Good night, guys. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.